fucking words. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find out who the fuck you are. You motherfucker. You are fucked. Let this clip this one, bitches. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. You are fucked. And you are done. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. I'm coming for you. Sound good? Coming for you. Fair enough? Coming for you. Alright. Please talk about boys. Yo. I'm looking. Please talk about punk ass bitches. I'm looking. 30, 40, 50. Sissified boys come from the bottom. 30, 40, 50. Ass busters. Ain't no clap back video. Why? What is it that serious? But I need boys. Please, the creator. Bless me, but I need boys. Please allow my boy sperms to go fast and shoot fast enough. Go fast enough. Please, please, the creator. Please bless me. Dog. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. Bloodshed and bullets. You are fucked. And you are dumb. I'm coming for you. They all saw dumb. 30, 40, 50 punk ass bitches. I'm the one coming for you. You are fucked. And you are dumb. Be some gunfire. 30, 40, 50, sissified boys. So all, it's all about me, it's not. It's my podcast, not yours, all right? Then again, why didn't they do that? Why did they just spam my chat for 40 minutes with the same message? So that now, there could be highlights of this podcast so the haters can talk about something today. American mom. Fuck off, get banned, don't come back. It's all about me. Fuck off, get banned, and kiss my ass. All about me. I don't care about any of you. You're all insignificant humans. It's all about me. It's all about me. Spammed my fucking podcast. Demanding my attention. During the time that wasn't even Q&A, fuck off and get banned and don't come back. We don't want your kind around here. We want people who are actually here to have a good time and be chill. Please. Fuck off, get banned, and don't come back. It's all about me. Fuck off, get banned, and kiss my ass. It's all about me. I don't care about any of you. You're all insignificant humans. It's all about me. I need banana, tasty banana, squeeze the beer, it comes in denim. I need banana, tasty banana, squeeze the beer, put banana in my mouth. Banana, okay. Squeeze the banana. Yo, squeeze the banana. Oh, tasty banana. Squeeze the banana. Okay. Squeeze the banana. Squeeze the banana. Put banana in my mouth. I need banana. Tasty banana. Squeeze the pew, it comes in denim. I need banana, tasty banana. Squeeze the pew, 
some Steve coin get it back up let's go back to prominence come on we need this positivity are you ready for some curated interactive fun chill buzzwords I love them now why do I need to bring this up all right because tomorrow's my day off I got two big bills due this week. Everything all at once. Who? Oh. Two big bills. Chill. You're a pill. I got two big bills. The electric bill. I got two big bills. The internet bill. I'm reliant on chance to pay all my bills. I got two big bills. I got two big bills. I want people who are actually gonna have a good time in jail. I got two big bills. I don't want to be Mr. Bills. When I pop tags, I feel so pain. I, I can feel bills coming off my face. A timed release of two big bills. This is the United States of Phil. Chill. Give her a pill. The electric bill. I got two big bills. The internet bill. Two big bills. Scatman. Chill. Give her a pill. I got two big bills. The electric bill. I'm drinking. I got two big bills. The internet bill. I got two big bills. I got two big bills. I got two big bills, two big bills. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the chocolate starfish. You're kid mom. Who? Mic check. Yes, we are live. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to another one of these. And we're going to be watching Phil and listening to his podcast of curated meaning. Uh, deep thoughts, deep discussions, introspective Would thoughts. Would be the first billion dollar coin? Well, not at the moment. Because some uh, detractors, how would I call them? Uh, an insult. Wait, uh, punk ass sissified boys have sold all their coins on the fucking exchange. And now it dropped. Steve coin dropped, you guys. I'm still holding. I'm going to be holding all the way. Because... We need to get that positivity going. But some, uh, how would somebody else call them? Wait, do I have that time, that clip? Uh, oh, I lost my clip. Never mind, the joke is ruined. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's start watching some, uh, Dave. Yesterday, he was playing Screed Fighter. And, uh, I think was, it was miserable. And he blamed people on the fact that he was playing on PC. Actually, that they were playing on PC. I don't fucking get it. Is the volume down? The volume of what? Should be normal. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday, the 2nd of October, 2023. Incidentally, as I'm trying to come in here and film the Daily Wrap and finish up my uh, streaming day, you know, I had to use the bathroom before I did so. Jasper Kitty goes crazy. He's, uh, you know, full of energy because it's cool now. It's the fall. And uh, he wants to come in the office. I'm like, I gotta shut the door. I gotta still record. I got stuff to do. We're fighting in the hallway. He's biting my hand and scratching. They were fighting in the hallway. What? <laughs> they were having a domestic dispute in the hallway that resulted in DSP being injured. He probably had to take a, what was it? A, a detox break? What was it? Infection break? 
sanitize break. What was it called? Because he took a specific type of break. But Never I mind. I had to put him in the bedroom and close the door. I said, you're just going to get stuck in here for like 15 minutes then while I film. <laughs> anyway. Sundar has a slush fund of over $1 billion from insider trading of health coin. Yet another revelation in the life of a dirty scammer. <laughs> you At know what? Point, boyfriend is on board with this. You know what? I'm thinking that Sundar might have sold all his Steve coins and cashed out early. So I'm going to investigate that. That's definitely up for investigation. So how did today go? Overall, I had a really good day today, honestly. Um, and honestly, was today I was, was super hoping, positive. Actually, because, Well, not better than I was hoping, but better than I had feared is what I should say. Because I was really nervous about tonight in Street Fighter. It was really nervous we'll about, about Street so, Fighter. First of all, today's level one podcast <laughs> did not have a ton to cover. No gaming news or anything going on right now. Notably because, you know, the new releases start to hit next uh, later this week, I should say, with Assassin's Creed Mirage, and then there's a Modern Warfare Three beta, and then there's more stuff coming out. So, with all that on the horizon, there's not much going on in news. So instead, we basically just had kind of a chill podcast talking a bunch about. Um, Lies of P and how I like how the game is progressing, and then a lot of Q and A. You know, a lot of various different topics discussed, which was fun. So it was a more relaxed, various uh, different podcast. topics discussed. And then we jumped into like he had a business P. meeting. Me it's Lies really fun, P. dude. Still really good. I mean, we are on. Honestly, I love 10. it. That's what I did today. I love the Q and A. And still introducing new enemies. Still introducing new lore. Interesting. So he loves the game. Uh, we get to skip that. I, I want to hear him talk about Street Fighter. This is one of the few times I wanted to hear him. Because uh, he got stomped, apparently, and he blamed people on PC. But he didn't play that many people on PC anyways. It's very stupid. I'm happy because I like it. He was out outright losing matches, like, two to nothing. And then claiming that he actually won. Because the other guy didn't earn it. Game so much, oh, yeah. I can't wait for that level of challenge. Um, And that should be starting on Wednesday, okay? Um, Tonight, it was my first ever session of street fighter 6 at the master level while most people who've been playing this game and hit master kept playing i kept going back and trying other characters and this was the first night where i really sat down and said let's try a character at the master level and it was blanca now oh yeah I that's why nervous. it was so good because he was playing against other masters and he immediately was nervous why i'm i'm rusty with blanca blanca is a character who i played a ton with at first, then I started picking other characters. Then I went back. And now he's rusty again. Yeah, he's always ago. rusty, legitimately. When I got like 15 Xbox excuses preloaded. Then I stopped playing him again for over a month to focus on Honda and Lily and then Aki. So going back to him tonight was a little iffy, all right? What I can tell you is this, all right? I didn't lose the entire night. Thankfully, I won matches. There were matches I steamrolled and I got a double perfect. Wow. How many no of figure. them? Matches. So it happened multiple times. At the same time, I'm surprised. matches where I was getting also my ass handed to me. Oh, well, there we go. Um, but most of the matches lied somewhere in between. I'd be curious overall if I won more than I lost. But the way that Master works is kind of weird. Like, I know that I won a good amount of matches, yet it still said that I was down a bunch of Master rank points by the end of the night. And I'm like, so does that mean that if you lose... A certain amount of matches i was not looking at all at how many points you win or lose at all that's the thing like i think what happened was initially i let me guess he lost a bunch of points that why he stopped looking at him lost a bunch of matches. if he was winning them and the points were racking up then he would be looking at them every three seconds which is you know i'm rusty is dsp more nervous playing masters or seeing a black person on screen what if what if the player he's playing against is playing as a black character and he is a master that that's double nervous. He got him. He got the nails biting and everything. And everything. Then I started to get back into my stride and win. But I was winning. And you can't play with one hand. Because one hand you're biting the nails. One hand you're trying to play. Sense. And I don't know how that works. I don't know how the master points work. By the end of the night, I had gained like twenty five hundred uh, match points, which is but battle points. But that's because you win a ton of battle points per fight when you're playing at master. I think you earn like. Uh, 100 to 150 points per win but of course you lose points when you lose as well right so i don't yeah really we kind of got it at this point exactly how we understand phil my first night and i couldn't really judge so overall i don't know how many matches i won and how many matches i lost okay i wasn't tracking i know people are tracking and i'll know by tomorrow people are tracking um, it but what is I this say like is this. does he have actual multiple people doing statistics behind the scenes he got an actual analytics team working for him for free that's kind of impressive one clear-cut pattern that we all noticed, okay? 
the vast majority of players in Master are playing on PC. Yeah, when it says people, he probably means just one guy. Because if they were playing on PlayStation, it tells you. Otherwise, it has the cross-platform. We already know a very small amount of players bought Street Fighter VI on Xbox. It's a very small amount. I think the other well, like three? 10 or 15 percent. Tiny. Okay, so a very small the ten percentile. It says, "Oh, cross-platform." That no. means I'm primarily playing against PC. Bro, I am going outside to smoke a cigarette. Glad to see you back on the good old wagon. I'm smoking. I'm drinking. I'm not thinking. I'm drinking. Hey, big up, Spikes. Thanks. Uh, appreciate the contribution. You should contribute to the stock market too. Players. Buy all the health coins. All night. I've been Buy it now. working hard. I think I played two or maybe three PlayStation players in a two and a half hour stream. That's very small. And by the way, those are the people whose asses I beat. It was. Those are the people who I got in a steamroll. Oh, Everyone Cross else. He played 14 PC and 10 console players. Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw there was some screenshots floating around, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. I didn't really see what, what that was about. Uh, but yeah, on PC. And um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's just another excuse. Think about that. I hate to say it. What's the weird thing I about PC? Dropping a lot oh, of inputs playing yeah. against players. <laughs> I'm playing against people. Here comes my big. This is like legitimately the most DSP excuse ever. Punish comp. I, I, I'm dropping inputs because somebody is playing on a different platform than me. But on the wrong right. platform. Jump, jump. Roundhouse. Standing roundhouse. Fierce punch stops comboing. Huh? Alert. It's a the three slob lives in his own head. He perseveres when he beats a boss when he gets smacked for over two hours. Remember, it's never his fault. Well, it, he also perseveres when he gets to own the trolls, like in that YouTube short. Oh, we gonna stick it to him in the AM. Today, the trolls lost. That was so good, man. That's such a great, wholesome moment Combo, it's of overcoming adversity by waiting for the copyright strikes to go away. It's fantastic. That was That's a classic. If he has one good short, it's that one. Easiest combo with Blanca. Why is it not working? And I it, that happened a lot tonight. We're at opportunity. Oh, they did a level three super. I blocked it. Here we go. Roundhouse. Fierce, fierce punch doesn't hit. Huh? It's the easiest fucking combo. How are you going to tell me it doesn't work? And I'm sorry to say, I have to say, it has to something to do. With Happy the October. Time to charge act two as. Uh, yeah, we... There we go. It's, it's October now. We're getting spooky. As you can see, he's got spooky. He put up the the Halloween tree in the background. Everybody has one. I've put up mine. Platform. And I hope you put up your Halloween tree in your office and put a nice little fake skull next to it. So it looks spooky. It seems to me you're that gonna scare everybody. The the vast majority you're scaring the hoes, dude. Put away the Christmas tree. Discovered. Less input lag and way less dropped inputs playing it on PC than you get on console. And that's bullshit. It's not fair that it's an unfair playing advantage now at the top levels. I didn't for the sub Kyle. lower levels, likely because then Also, DSP is ready to start, but by ready to start, I mean he's going to go to the bathroom. So another 10 minutes, guys. Way more prominent. But now I'm starting <laughs> Because to that's how it works now. Of matches tonight. I would say at least 10 full sets. Yep. I there we go. He started. <laughs> he started. Standing roundhouse. The moment you hear the ball crappy super. music, it's, me, standing roundhouse, it's standing the start. Medium punch super. Huh? Zero directional input. Oh, he's Not still talking like about a, this? He's still Not crying about this? Forward. It just dropped the whole directional input on me. It dropped like, everything. What the hell? And this was happening all night. This was not a one-time thing. And the thing is, I really feel like it's because at this level, all right, you're playing your hardest and you need everything to come out and the game just says, oh, well, if someone's playing on PC, they will always get everything. You drop your side because you're on console. You're the plebeian. I think that's bullshit. That's not fair. It essentially means I have to play twice as good, twice as fast, twice as as, twice as, as good, and really and like flawless. You know, that's nonsense. <laughs> and I'm such sorry. I, cry I, I, baby complaints. I can't sit here and sugarcoat it. I'm pissed off <laughs> that this game does not have an equivalent experience depending on the platform you play it on. Dude, this is the best segment of him talking about Street Fighter he's ever had. And he's had many chances to put out some better material than this. But this is this is the best, you know? This is the 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 hallmark achievement of him talking about Street Fighter. That this is why there's so many people playing it on PC who are pro players. Go ahead and ask most pro players right now what version are they playing. They're going to say PC. Okay. That's not fair. I don't have a high... I mean, because, like, pros don't really play on console much. When you're doing esports, 
You don't really play it on coal so much, do you? I don't know. Rig to play this on. So I don't know, but it just sounds like it's not really a big difference. If you're good enough to play the game on a competitive level, you should be able to do just fine on console as well. Distinct disadvantage, right? Well, I've, every console player I play against, I'm spanking at the master level, but as soon as the PC players come out, it's like, my moves don't come out. I can't block on reaction. Combos drop. What is going on? So... The truth is, I was pleased, and here's why. I did hang with these people. It wasn't like, oh my god, Phil's at master level, and here we go. Spanking, 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 spanking. It wasn't like that at all. all right? I was definitely hanging, and like I said, I'd be curious to see. I probably did lose more than I won, but at the same time, I was kind of expecting that. I'm just happy that I did get the wins I did, and you know, overall, there was some progress. And I feel like the more I play with Blanca at master, I'll get better. You know, I am rusty with the character. I'll probably get better the further in we get. But... It is disheartening to see that it seems like almost everyone has an advantage on me just because I don't have an expensive gaming PC. That's pretty bullshit, and I think Capcom should actually be called out for that and say, what is going on that you can't make them equivalent, and now people have a, a, all these dropped inputs and shit. What is going on, right? Because um, it's funny. People are like, oh, well, why aren't other people saying that? Because other pro players play on PC. They all fucking play on PC, dude. The pro players all invested in high-end PCs. They got sponsorships with fucking teams and shit. <laughs> they bought them these PCs to play. And Dude, That's exactly why. Are you? Is he acting like you need like a three thousand dollar PC to to get a good experience with Street Fighter to have a competitive experience? What kind of bullshit is this? They're not. You don't need a forty ninety to be playing Street Fighter Six and be good at it. The Come on, get fucked, man. What the it. fuck is this bullshit? And of course, we gotta bring up, oh, they get the sponsorships, they get the ad breaks, they get all of it. Come on. Anyway, I had a good time. And overall today, I want to say thank you to anyone who attended, engaged, supported. Solid, get, solid day of streams. Zero complaints for me. Uh, you know, I am looking to try to get some more members by the end of the week because we lost. Oh, and now we're just begging right after this segment. That's so despicable. It has been kind of stagnant on the membership. This side, is so pathetic. That, you know. I'm pleased with how it did. You know, solid day of streaming, solid day of support and everything. So, good stuff. All right? <laughs> now, tomorrow, we're mixing it up. Tomorrow, it's going to be Resident this Evil. This is real Remake. dumb, man. Separate ways DLC. But, yeah, he's playing uh, separate ways today. On. I'm three hours in, and I'm going to do another. Hopefully, you guys are going to show up and tomorrow. support. Tomorrow night is Starfield Chill Fun. And we just finished the UC Vanguard plot line. As and, well as oh, we got a nice Didn't ear pick and wipe combo. Was on PlayStation. Thinking face. Well, he used to say about Mortal Kombat that everybody on console was going to play it on PlayStation. That's why he bought the stick and he bought the $120 edition, whatever. He bought the premium everything. So, yeah. Barrett's companion he, he, I mean, he's just as lost in these narratives as everybody else because they just make no sense. And he's trying to make them make sense, but it doesn't work because it just doesn't make sense. So now we're going to And I get it. Some games, especially online games, especially games that are based around timing and precision, they can have issues online, but it's not to the he point the that one he's fucking issue. saying it. Nothing burger. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. It's almost like he's just making excuses. The story with Constellation. There's two Constellation story missions to do, and I think I want to start with uh, Sam Co because he looks like he's a new companion, and I definitely want a new companion. I'm tired of having Barry. I've had him for like 15 hours. <clears throat> So we'll do that. We'll get Samco recruited. We'll mix that up. We'll you know, try to get him recruited as my companion. And we'll go from there wherever the game takes us. If you're wondering, oh, one's more Liza P and Street Fighter. That's all day Wednesday. It's Liza P first stream, Street Fighter late stream. Okay? So let me know what you think. You know, watch the gameplay. Good news is I didn't get angry with Street Fighter tonight. And that's the thing. That's the Even if I'm losing, as long Dude, as I'm not losing. how is this like a, an anger management class at this point? He's showing up to a meeting of anger management or something. Angry People Anonymous. What the fuck? That's the good thing, you guys. I didn't have a, te a, a temper tantrum like a baby. Cool. I don't mind, you know? Uh, really? Step one. Of good job, Phil. I appreciate you. You know, you live and you learn. And you're going to learn until for a long time because you never learned your lesson. So you're going to keep learning. You're going to keep studying. To playing at this higher level in Master and sadly getting used He's to... He's adapting, you guys. He's evolving. It seems like it's going to happen. Yesterday. Often. He didn't even get mad playing Street Fighter. That's crazy. And I'm just going to have to find I can't even just, believe it. Phil know, didn't get mad. Or just accept that. Yeah, he didn't. Happen. You know, I don't know. But, uh, it, you know, let's see. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll pick that up on Wednesday. All right. Everyone, please have a good evening. I'll see you all in the morning for the podcast and for Resident Evil. Yeah, speaking of which, we're about to see him very soon.
And by very soon, I mean like literally right now. Because we got the Mickey Mouse theme song playing. We got the greatest motion graphics that Windows Movie Maker could afford. And we're diving in to a level one podcast created, directed, starring, written by Phil Burnell, the King of Hate, and my very dear friend. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. Oh, why am I talking like this? I don't know. What's up? Today is Tuesday. He's looking very scuffed today. He's looking October very chopped and screwed. Indeed it is. Let me put him in good Indeed quality because this stream today isn't. Today is a fun day of variety here on DSP Gaming with uh, two completely different styles of games. Today I've got a little bit of an update regarding both Lies of P and Street Fighter VI. Today, on this very show, the premiere of a new feature that we're going to be doing monthly now that I think should turn out to be pretty interesting as long as a new feature and that's very interesting participate in it but people have to buy in so it's instantly bad I'll explain what you know I it's going to be stupid on the show it's the new suggestion box interesting concept what um oh this is going to get today. trolled not so hard much. i can't wait right, for people to troll him but a couple two days from now he's going to be crying about the suggestions uh <laughs> Oh, he literally lets you give him not, feedback uh, now, you no. guys. He's so open to improvement. You guys. We're now in the midst of a time period when we're just before all the big new releases. We're currently playing a few of them, but there's a lot more right around the corner coming out in October. <clears throat> and being that that's the case, the news is kind of light. I wonder, do you have to be a member to, to make a suggestion? As more games are coming out and more things become big hot topics of discussion. But we're not there yet. We're getting there, right? So, happy Tuesday to all of you. I hope that you're all having a good day. Um, it's another cool, cloudy day today here in Washington State, which I'm happy about. Uh, sadly, this weekend, we're supposed to have very hot days and sunny days, which makes no sense because we're in autumn. Two we're not supposed to have those, SF6 but apparently to combine we're going to have two of them this weekend, and then hopefully we go back. Yeah, and it, the two-star um, Street Fighter funny, Six improves the lag and the ping, and the moves come out, so you want to improve them, Man, obviously. Weather. Once we get to the the, the six-star Street Fighter Six, you literally win all your matches. You're like one punch man. A summer party shirt I'd like to start wearing. Maybe longer sleeve shirts. I gotta go from shorts to, to longer pants. Yeah, he's repping cool. PlayStation then, today. That's a oh, <laughs> very good shirt. Like 70 to 80 degree weather here in, in, in Washington. I'm like, what? Well, obviously, can't do that, <laughs> right? Not yet, anyway. I'm totally hoping this is it. I want it to hit full-on cooler fall weather so that I can make that adjustment fully into the fall. It kind of feels like right now we're in that transitioning phase we're Dude, how how is the there, weather affecting him so yet. much? He but doesn't even go anywhere. Just close the window. October, it's Halloween month. How is he so affected by it? Why does it bother him so much? Right. <clears throat> anyway, um, I hope that you guys are ready to chill. Uh, let's get started. I think what we should do today before we jump into you know he's wasting so much time before he's even started this this is the intro to the podcast after two intros right. so yesterday was a very action-packed challenging day uh we had lies of p continuing on on the first stream and then we had my return to street fighter 6 at the master ranked level on the late stream so let's tackle each of these you know one by one <laughs> oh, wow lies of p yesterday Went that's a tackling well. snort um got through the rest of chapter nine uh, all of apparently all of chapter 10 I'm not 100% sure on that but apparently chapter 9 is one of the longest chapters in the game because <clears throat> I had already played over an hour into it um, oh and we get my favorite segment your favorite segment game recaps with Phil stream, stream review done. and then we hit chapter 10 and fought a big boss fight and everyone was like oh yeah that's that's it for chapter 10 I was like huh are you sure like, yeah, chapter 10 is, like, ridiculously short. Well, yeah, it's also pretty obvious to me he just long. woke up, like, half an hour ago. Thing. I, I don't know. But <laughs> he might be yesterday, just rolling out of bed, quite literally game, rolling out of bed. Lies of P, this game has stayed at that level of excitement and interest the entire game. At not one point ever when I was playing this game did I feel like, oh, man, 
they finally hit the wall and now it's become too repetitive it's gonna be his game of the, the year just watch and or number enemy, two and it's boring not once as and Starfield is going to be in the most disappointing list. And, ...and abilities for my build that have made things more and more interesting. New enemies keep showing up in every area. I mean, it was funny because we retreaded our steps from the beginning of the game yesterday. That was part of the plot. But all the enemies had changed and mutated into crazy things that we hadn't seen at the beginning <clears throat> that were way more challenging and difficult and interesting. Um, I was like, wow, they really thought hard and well about how to make this game and keep it interesting as opposed to just you know oh you're in the you're the same enemies re recycled recycled, recycled. <laughs> dude and he said that say, same thing yesterday as well that everyone praised was called Elden Ring. <laughs> this is just groundhog's exactly day man it this is terrible enemies over and over and you can argue oh well Elden ring is a giant open world and that was my point Elden Ring shouldn't okay. have been a giant. Uh, is he recapping his points from yesterday? Took away from the feeling. For those who missed the podcast yesterday. Designed to of be course. interesting. The open world made it so that they had to keep rehashing the same enemies, the same mini bosses, the same combat, and it didn't feel good. By the, by the last third of that game, you get bored, except for maybe the Halley Tree and the final bosses, but the whole last third of that game is like, oh. So it looks. He should make a review of Lies of P and clickbait exactly people by saying that it's done. better than Elden Ring. Lies of P. Gonna this put it in the title. Better than Elden Ring? Question mark. <clears throat> and every piece of the game is still. And he's gonna get like 500 views, and he's fun. gonna cry about it. Once again, I think we were at like stream. Not even kidding. I think it was like stream number nine yesterday. New plot elements being introduced that are interesting and big plot twists in things, and I'm like. Wow, this is great. I'm enjoying myself so much. So I really don't have any problems with this game that are major. There's little little grievances, little little annoyances, but every game has those. For the most part, this is one of my favorite games of the year by far, and I'm really loving it, and I can't wait for more tomorrow. So Liza P, still on a high level. Check it out if you did not see the videos from yesterday. By the way, obviously my apologies if you were trying to watch those videos last night and you were realizing that they just weren't looking right, that's because YouTube, for some odd reason, decided not to process them properly. <laughs> YouTube fucked up his videos. videos you should sue them, though. Hours just sue them. You can get a couple HD. of million for that. If you say it's your business. For like 16 hours for no good reason. And then they finally went HD overnight when I was asleep. So a lot of people were like, oh, you know, I don't want to watch them yet because you know they're not good quality and i i hear you if you were dying to see the continuation you know you probably watched them fast but a lot of people did not so i'm sure now probably people will go check them out this morning now that they're finally showing in hd but the funny part about that is i uploaded other videos yesterday including the podcast including the street fighter videos and those were fine those processes hey, we got a jasper no appearance so it's just we got YouTube. signs of life you guys he survived oh, the I for that. obviously I the want domestic to dispute the they had with his right dad away. yesterday sometimes they, they transfer like that and you can see them hd within minutes and then sometimes they'll take a day that's youtube's fault okay all right so anyway lies of peace stays at a high level hey, it goes for 10 months logan for the first time that's a six star logan a, hey and the first time in over a month Jasper is I attacking him. In Street Fighter Five, or excuse me, Street Fighter Six. That's your chance, Jasper. Finish the, the job. Come on, go for Blanca the throw. September first, and that was the day when I hit master level with Blanca in on PS Five. So that was it. It had been uh, pretty Jasper's much. Jasper's exactly gonna unlock his inner tiger. I had used the character. We need a buzzwords drinking game. We'll all be smashed halfway through the fake podcast. We'll probably be gone. Right in the middle of the plug segment. That's that's now, just gonna kill me. I knew playing with Blanca. I should just start chugging from the bottle at that one, point because the plug segment is nothing but just buzzwords and corporate level. language. <clears throat> Climbing the ranks, grinding through and like parasocial diamond, relationship reinforcement segments. Gameplay. So I knew right off the bat that I was going into something that was likely going to be way more challenging than what I had faced before. And so I'm like, all right, well let's see how it goes, you know, and. uh Let's test it out, right? So I tested it out, and I'll be honest with you guys, it was very hit or miss. All right, some some of the matches went really well, some of the matches went horribly. Now, when I say horribly, it's for for various different reasons. In some matches, I was just so rusty that I got outplayed, and I got mixed up or whatever. I actually fought my first Aki and Master, and the Aki was interesting because when the Aki got something going, 
They could, could oh, we have Street Fighter combo. We have skip juice a little bit. And you lose easily. But then the moment you shut down that rushdown pattern, the Aki had no idea what to do, and I beat the Aki. So it was kind of like almost like a 50 50 chance. You know what I'm saying? Of what you, how you were going to perform. So in that regard, that's, I kind of knew that's how it was going to be. All right, but what annoyed me and what continues to annoy me in this game is that. Again, I, I tend to play characters, at least right now in Street Fighter 6. All right, Jasper, you got to go to the floor now. <laughs> okay, Jasper, let's in go Street to the floor six, now. Pick the top tiers. Take him out of the room. I Close mean, the door on the kid. I tried Luke. I never really continued with Luke. <laughs> we all know who the top tiers are. You. Now I have one of his hairs in my mouth. And Street oh, Fighter 6, you know. You didn't have to say that. Jury. DJ, hey, big ups for the five gifts. Good hustler, dude. Some would argue Chun Li, but some would say this is more uh, mid tier to or higher mid tier, lower top tier. Um, those are kind of the ones that everyone agrees, right? Oh, Cami as well. You know, there's like five or six characters that are absolutely known to be top tier in this game, and then you've got the mid tiers. All right, and the mid tiers have some advantages, and 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 they can do better than some Jasper. No, you're not going to eat that one, Jasper. <laughs> Jasper, if you're gonna act up, you're gonna have to leave. Oh man, you're gonna have to leave. You and why we don't want right you here. Here. You're you here. You're a you're a worthless you human, know, Jasper. <laughs> you know better than to chew wires, and I don't want to put up with this this morning. Uh oh, why? What happened? For your own good. Why is he so pissed Stop off? That. <laughs> Jasper, you're gonna have to leave. Jasper, what did I just say? <laughs> no, <listen to> <laughs> no don't hit him. Dad, or you're gonna get grounded. Listen to your no dad. Lives. Could you just relax, please, Jasper? Seriously. <laughs> now he walks up for pets. He's, this is how this cat is, because all he wants is attention. That's the only reason he's doing it. He's not chewing the wire because he wants to chew it. He's chewing it because he wants my attention. And he's upset that I'm talking with you guys, and I'm not talking with him, and I'm not paying attention to him. Not every moment can be for you, Jasper Kitty. I'm sorry. Not every moment, all right? I'm sorry. It's just not possible. All right, can I get back to what I was saying? Okay. No, please, uh, keep this segment going. So, we love it. Um, as I was we love the Jasper the segments. Long. I'm the biggest a fan. A lot of matches I got outplayed, and that's fine. Because if you get outplayed, at the very least, you could say, okay, I got beaten, and now I know I'm getting beaten or whatever. But, you know, top-tier characters in Master, they're very hard to beat. Why? Because people are playing patterns. And these are the patterns that people have now mastered in four months of this game being out. And these patterns are very hard to beat, especially with, with these characters who have dominant ranged moves like dj throwing his double projectiles uh you know ken don't even get me started on how ridiculous he is oh yeah man we hate ken jab, he's a grappler that beat everything Fuck ken. um it's tough and these people don't have to try i'm sorry i'm just all my homies just hate they ken just play a pattern it's a flow chart they've memorized it's like muscle memory <laughs> memorize flow charts see someone do, this <laughs> do people move? actually do, do that do this move? i mean they probably do but time it stops them so just do it now the 20 percent of the time <laughs> it sounds like everybody them, who plays punished, against dsp does care. that non-stop 80 percent of the time so why not just do it and how do you think they ended up in master it wasn't because they were thinking oh intelligent. and phil was game, thinking and he's intelligent you see how he's giving him compliments he's complimenting so himself it really is it's very frustrating i'm intelligent and i'm thinking the high level flowchart top tier stuff especially when i'm not using a top tier myself i don't play with top tier characters blanca arguably is high mid tier maybe high -tier. mid tier Blanca, <laughs> -tier. he's going anthony really, fantano on bottom this bottom of the barrel super That's curated street Rangers fighters fans, so it's rough he's curating them right now to win these matches but by far, the thing that really upset me last night... Is high mid-tier or a strong out. 3 out of 10, you could okay? Say, well, maybe that's you, Phil, because you haven't played Blanca in a month. Fair enough. I'll take responsibility and say, I know that probably some of that was was problems. So sometimes I'm not doing anti-airs properly. Um, You know, my timing is delayed. But there's a difference between, okay, I picked the wrong move, did the wrong thing, took too long, and I'm in the middle of a basic 3-hit combo... Oh and no! The second hit doesn't come out. Oh, oh come again, on, man! And again and again, that's a problem. Yeah, and that must be the PC the guy's playing on. Combo. Standing roundhouse, standing. He downloaded punch, a lag switch. Crouch, fierce punch. It's three hits. It juggles. Oh man, this sucks. With that. I hope things get better for you, you Phil. It. You need it in every situation. Whether you hit with a drive impact, whether you block a move and you're punishing, if you're drive rushing and doing that combo, you need that combo. I'm not kidding you. There were multiple matches, maybe five or more matches last night where I would have won a set 
if that basic three hit combo came out and it either dropped the input or it came out somehow with improper timing that it didn't combo. It's one of the easiest combos in the game. I'm sorry, I've played the game for over four months. I've played Blanca more than any other character. I know how to do the three hit combo. I'm not going to accept responsibility. About giving props to losing against people and then goes to unicorn on people. Well, all you gotta do is just watch him as he's losing. The, that's that's all that matters. The initial response, that's what he truly means. It's not the given props after the fact or seeing that somebody is a famous streamer so he kisses his ass. Just watch him at the moment. For the fact that this game won't... And you see how toxic he is. I against just random dudes that beat him in the game. Yes, I definitely messed up in these matchups with things like, okay, I didn't think fast enough so I didn't react fast enough to a jump in. All right? But... A three-hit combo not coming out for a fucking person who's been playing Street Fighter since the 1990s, that's bullshit. So, I'm calling it. It's bullshit. He's calling it. It's either one of, of many factors. It's called it now. Be, There's no coming back. Joystick. Phil called it. I prefer it. not to think so. You know, I've played with this joystick offline and don't have issues. It's only online when all of a sudden the issues match. So it's arrives, not, no, okay? so it's not the joystick. The format I'm playing on. I'm playing on PS5. I'm playing with this joystick. Maybe that adds Oh my god, everything else. Jasper it could be DSP's the netcode. Gods. Agent Declaw doing God's work. Yeah, Sorry, man, hopefully. I Actually, I don't care. No, uh, he's uh, definitely rollback netcode has an opportunity now to get the job done. Rather than someone go for it, Jasper. Go for it. Fly. Finish we him. Analyze netcode a couple days ago. I'm Destroy show. the business. You know, essentially, netcode assumes you're always doing the same thing. So if you're someone who's not doing the same thing, you have a higher chance of your input being dropped than someone who just does the same thing over and over. Okay, that's bad, so yes, that's, rollback that's netcode, the right? that's the issue there. We there found was it. Another really interesting factor. All right, that was definitely prominent last night. If you go back and you watch the two and a half hours that I played this master rank gameplay, and this was the first time I had ever played in master. All right, I'm not exaggerating here. I He's about to exaggerate. Almost 95 percent of the matches I played said they were cross-platform. That was a massive exaggeration, like actually massive. Now, if you guys aren't aware, ninety-five that percent. That's, that's just a made-up fucking percent. Five, like I am. I'm it's just made up. It's fake. Playing on Xbox. What the fuck? But sales numbers have proven that this game did not sell well on Xbox. It's been selling tons on PC and tons on PlayStation. Xbox sales, I believe, people said was ten to fifteen percent of the total sales of the game. Right. So I want you to think about that. It's claiming that I'm playing everyone cross-platform. We know almost no one bought it on Xbox. What does that mean? The vast majority of people who are playing this game on master level are all on PC. Why? I don't know, because it's easy. Why is everyone playing this game at a pro level playing it specifically on PC? Oh, man. And nobody wants to say that you get There's advantages? Be reason. Yeah, he's no, just not, making it up so right now. Big analyst. I'm not in the FGC. He's not a big analyst. He's just a conspiracy theorist. Trends. You know what I mean? All I know is that people have been finding ways to talk about my get joystick. advantages on PC. Talk about my joystick. Advantage. Please. You know? But Please. I'm that Please. Specifically. Please. You know, in the last decade. Rollback, netcode, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you've heard it all before, dude. When you play the PC versions of these games, you can find ways to get better performance. Whether that means that the game runs better on PC, whether that means that there's reduced input lag, whether how much? Oh my God, he's making a, what? What's the latency and in input lag? It's it's probably like a negligible percentage. It's a negligible number. If you're good enough, you can overcome these hurdles that are not even that big in the first place. It just sounds like he's just coping because he's not good enough. Because that's exactly what it is. Whatever it may be, they are finding ways to get a better. He's PC gaming and PC gamers PC. with a unicorn. Because here's the thing, and here's what uh, you gotta understand. He, uh, Despite the fact that people- I, I wish he was a PC gamer. I would have loved to see that. Him just troubleshooting every single game. Statistics. That would be awesome, ago, dude. And just way. tweaking the, the window settings and fucking stuff June, up. There was testing across the board and essentially said it's all the same except PS4. If you're playing the PS4 version of the game, there's way more input lag. But all versions are equal. That was four months ago. And in four months, a lot changes, especially when you get your hands on the final version of a game. Um, I guarantee you there is something going on in the competitive fighting game community 
where they've all figured out that if you play on PC, you can find a way to get better performance. Why else would everyone be playing it on PC? Dude, this is literally the definition of a conspiracy theory. Because he implies that everybody in the FGC, or at least the most of them, have a secret way of knowing how they can just win all the time on PC and just excel. It even make sense. Why would they all be doing it at master level? And it doesn't make sense. He's even calling out how stupid his own theory is, that it doesn't make sense. Expensive to play this game on PC. It They're all trying to, to screw over the small guy, Phil. Well, you'd have to get everything working on PC as opposed to just buy a console, pop it, and done, right? So there's got to be a reason why every pro, pro player is playing this on PC. And everyone's following suit. And I guarantee you that if you go ahead and you look into the community and you do some technical research, you'll find out why. It's probably all prominently there that they found ways to make it run better and perform better on PC. I guarantee it. So... What's oh, funny to you me can't accept the fact that is he that I played it master. Yeah, he's like, gonna be in denial for a long PC time. Hit combo. I don't think he's ever gonna Yet, accept it. Every PC player I'm playing seems to have great, great execution. I mean, insane amount of reaction to drive impact. I he's, uh, I guess he's trying to set up the whole narrative that he is old now, so he's not uh, naturally gifted at video games anymore. He lost his gift. But I don't think he believes his own bullshit. He's not that delusional. Yeah, he anyone, still thinks I think he's I good. One person with a drive impact last That's night. That's just a way of every coping other time with I tried, it. Was instant, instant reaction to drive impact. Huh? Instant. Really? I can't do anything instantly. If I try to do anything instantly on PS5, there's delay. They're instantly reacting to drive impact. There's something going on, obviously, right? So here's the thing. Is this like so game changingly crippling that that you cannot play the game? Of course not. No. Oh, but it's why did you cry about it for so long then? In my opinion. If you're playing a competitive fighting game and you want to get good at it, and you're now at the level where the only way to get better is to play a certain group of people, i.e., master rank. And the vast majority of people in master rank apparently are having an unfair advantage because because of the platform they're playing on that's just not fair but that's I'm not sorry, real bullshit. though and you 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 created this straw man narrative and now you're calling it out the pros all play on pc what happens when they play each other is it a draw i guess so I that's that's actually an interesting PC. thought it's simple pc well it is simple and pcs don't cost that much he thinks you need a, a three thousand dollar pc to do the things that the pros do and offline, this would never be an issue, because offline, everyone plays the same platform. So whether you're playing on Xbox, PS5, or PC, and you're all playing on the same hardware, there's no unfair advantage. But apparently, there is a distinct unfair advantage playing this game online. Apparently. Sorry, by the way, that's a huge word. Because you don't have a high-end... Might as well have said allegedly. You should have the same performance as everybody else. Okay. It's just not right. And the way I see it is, this is the future. Because everyone wanted cross-platform, right? Everyone said, we want the biggest player base possible, and cross-platform is People the way People play to on PC because it is a consistent and better-looking experience. He chose console when he could skip pulls for a few days and get a PC. Well, it would probably take a, a couple of weeks yeah. for him to get a PC if he was just saving up on the pulls, but, but essentially, the I, I get it. I get it. And especially for streamers, it's PC much more convenient to just use a PC. Philip Pignell. Yeah, the, pr the pr PC equals the pro budget. cheater to this level. That's what now, it I'm actually means, you guys. Cheating. That's that's the new uh, conspiracy theorist. That's what yeah, it actually I means. I to do that because I don't think it's cheating. He's if not... Wait, player, what? You want to have every advantage you can get, that's... Bruh, he was alleging that all those people are cheating and now just says, I'm not calling him cheaters. Fair. I'm I understand why they would be cheating. Or using unfair advantage. I'm just saying, it really is ridiculous that one platform seems to have such advantage. So every time I go to play this game online, I'm going to have to face this. Not only am I facing people who play way more than me and probably have crazy muscle memory, better execution, thousands more matches okay. on the than I have. Also known as better and more experienced players. That's, that's kind of what you do when you play competitive video games, Phil. With these characters, but also now everything I do is delayed and my inputs drop more. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Like, I mean, wow. <laughs> it, like, it wasn't hard enough. For someone like me who's not in the FGC, not a pro, not aspiring to be that, to try to hang at this level. Now you're telling wait, me- Wait, wait, he's not in the FGC anymore? 
It was like a week ago he was talking about coming back from retirement and being a part of the FGC. He straight up just said that he's a part of the FGC. Everyone else has an advantage. He said, we the people in the FGC or something along those lines. Because they all got the game on PC too. It's like... <laughs> Ooh, woo. So, I guess he's retired again. All I can say is it is what it is. It is you what know, it is. I'm not gonna oh, sit here and freak I out. Love Good how thing this is coming from the guy who never plays anything on PC, and people play on PC cause it's awesome and better than consoles. Well, I understand why you would play both, depending on what your intention with getting the device actually is. And on PC, you can do a lot of other stuff. So it, if you're gaming on PC, it's worth investing some money in a good one. But he has the, the little piece of shit mini PC that is supposedly pretty decent. But he just played one game on it and now it's trash. Or it's not going to be used unless he wants to play like 20 year old games. I'm not a competitive fighting game player. I'm not. I don't really know. I'm not aspiring to go to tournaments. And okay. Then I would be upset. I'd legitimately be upset. No, but it sounds like he's upset. Because like if you're not upset with it, with this, you wouldn't make a big deal about it. And we wouldn't be listening to it for 10 minutes now. I don't understand this. Retired from the FGC again. Jaha called him a buozi and told him he'd better get out. Phil backed down instantly and said he was an alcoholic and didn't even remember saying that. <laughs> that's that's fucking great. I love that piece of lore, man. It's great. We need more stories of people about to beat DSP and then he just squirms. I'd be like, man, now I gotta go buy a two thousand dollar PC to play this fucking game because everyone no? else has one too, and that's a two thousand dollar like, PC. Bullshit. So luckily, it's not that serious for me. But what? I just want everyone to understand. As I continue to play the game, I will get better. Likely, my my execution just in general will get better anyway. But you gotta understand, this again is gonna, just gonna be a crazy uphill climb, um, where everything is against me because. This is just how it is today. It's not how it used to be, where everyone had the same level of advantage or a level of, of you know chance. This is what, what competitive gaming has become. How do you get the upper hand, right? So let's do it. Let's just get every unfair upper hand advantage you possibly can get just to play online. I want you to think about that. The online play of the game, that means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. It's just practice. But these people care about it so much, they go out and they buy $2,000, $3,000 PCs to what? play this fucking... Wait, oh my god, this is... Uh, this is such a fucking terrible segment. And now we're shitting on people because they just want to play online. PC big. And they want to get a good experience, so they buy a PC. And he's acting like they spent like $3,000 to buy a fucking PC. We are truly spoiled. Hey, big ups, Paradox. Thanks, man. Online. It's insanity when you think about it. But No, he's not begging for a PC. He's just delusional and really fucking butthurt and in pain. It's just practice. Listen to this. People care about it so much, they go out and they buy $2,000, $3,000 PCs to play this fucking game online. It's insanity when you think about it, but that's that's just really it is these days. Um, <clears throat> I'm loving the, the mental health decline on display. That's actually my favorite part of these. That's what makes it worth watching, because like every each day he's more chopped and screwed than the day before. And one day he's just going to flip. Oh, oh, well, I guess. Right. Anyway, I, I, you know, last night was not necessarily angry because I wasn't. Thankfully, I did not get angry. And oh, I'm and we get another get shout out for okay. anger management. Because I felt like if I did get angry, I would have played way worse. Right. But. I can tell you that it was rough going. I won 24 matches and I lost. Oh, we got 32. the stats. There we go. Okay. So that's only a 43% win-loss ratio. If you go back and you watch the matches, you would realize I would have won at Wait, least. Wait, what? 23%? 10 more matches if the execution came out. 23%. And now we're just faking a percentage that hypothetically would have happened. Because there were matches where I'm right in the middle of winning. And then all of a sudden, I can't go through the combo. Or, Wait, okay, oh, 43. Okay, did I hear it wrong? Lost 32. Get angry. I would Okay, let me let me get this one again. I'm sorry. Right? Just well, want to get the numbers straight. I can straight. tell you that it was rough going. I won 24 matches, and I lost 32. Okay? So that's only a 43% oh, okay, okay. Ratio. It's 43%. If you go back and you watch the matches, you would realize I would have won but it's still at negative, least though. 10 more matches if the execution came out, if the combos didn't drop. Because there were matches where I'm right in the middle of winning, and then all of a sudden I can't do a three-hit combo. 
Or, okay, here comes the finishing move. Uh, and, like, I remember once I did standing roundhouse. And we get and more I hypotheticals. Juggle. I did. B Black I love ball. that. Super. Now, the game is delayed enough. You have to do the motion for block a ball and then the motion for super back to back. If you don't, you won't get the super cancel. So I do launcher, block a ball, super. The game gives me launcher, standing medium punch. Oh, man. It's like RNG. Happy. It's like a loot Dude, box. It doesn't even make sense because I want you to never know what you're going to get. If you did standing medium punch and it whiffed, there should be enough recovery on that that now the super doesn't come out. The super came out anyway. Just proving my point about yeah, the just just let it go, man. In this game, just just let it go. The fact that it claims that you know it has a certain a uh, certain connection, certain latency. It's bullshit. please let it go, so, please. That's what I mean. It's not only a please. situation of oh I can't even get a basic combo. I can't do any of these basics. They drop like crazy. So there were multiple matches. I would argue ten out of all the matches I play. And if you do the math, if if the ten matches went in my favor because the moves came out, I would have won thirty four matches. Yeah, but that didn't 22. happen. But it didn't happen. So it is what it is. All I can do is keep plugging away and try to get oh, better man. and try to succeed in a situation where literally all circumstances <laughs> will be against me if I continue to play on PS5. We're getting and literally a, I can do a different... Like, he, he pulled pig noses on actual mathematics. That's impressive. When you try and twist science thousand dollars to drop on a gaming pc <laughs> which obviously i don't want to do um i think that would be pretty stupid to spend that much money on a pc just to play street fighter but Especially yeah because i'm not aspiring to be a pro player i think it's ridiculously unfair that there's this level of advantage that they're not dropping moves they can react like i said <laughs> instant but i'm not even talking. i just appreciate that he he considered buying a pc for two thousand dollars just to be a little bit better than street fighter and to have even more excuses i i appreciate so much that this guy actually thought about it and even he thought it was a stupid idea oh slight reaction instant reaction to drive impact while when i do mine the best i can do is maybe at the last chance it comes out with them instant. Phil would have won every match if these things happened and my Aunt Millie would be my Uncle Billy if she had a willy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. That's right, man. Like, get if the fuck uh, out of here. Right? That's my insane. grandma had wheels, she'd be a motorcycle, dude. She'd be a bike. And instead, she's just a grandma. Now. What a bitch. There's going to be more Shout out grandma. Coming this Wednesday. So we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping to incrementally get better. I don't want to have a... 20 wins 40 losses night every time i play this game <laughs> i i want hopefully i won't that's what i want but i guess we'll have to find out i don't know what else to say um the funny part is everyone's now parroting each other in the chat what about your tv you mean my brand new sony tv that i bought a year ago that we looked up and <laughs> we need a new tv compared to other tvs <laughs> the same what TV else do we I've need to buy so phil like can be better at video Leon. games uh, i really like that he is enjoying street fighter 6 we're getting note-taking, unicorn, conspiracies, rage, <laughs> blaming, crying, etc. <laughs> Dude, Johnny I love this. Duck. Yeah, I know. I love this shit. And it's so good because it's he feels like some kids that I've known when I was like 15 that were just buying gamer gamer gear and like keyboards and mice and gamer PCs just to play uh, Counter-Strike and they were still ass. And they were making the same excuses as him. This like 15 year olds. Wo Long Fallen Dynasty on and I'm perfect parrying everything. That TV? What are you talking about? <laughs> the TV that I literally don't have problems with any game. But it's my, now you're going to blame my TV. What is funny about is everyone always wants to point the finger at anything but what the obvious problem is. Right? Dude! But it must be this instead. It could what? Be, no, it's not any of your, the bullshit that you can make up. <laughs> it's the game. Oh, I thought he was going to say it's you. The game gives unfair advantage to one platform. And there's nothing you can do about it besides try to play better and or deal with it or buy a fucking This is game. a classic. All right? This is an instant classic segment. This is so good. Like what are you I mean It's even better than the content curator segment. If you're into Street Fighter, you're going to love this. Jeez. You're going to record <laughs> like, this on the DVR you, and watch it at family gatherings. Capcom. Like why would you do that? Exactly. Uh, they're not going to kiss your ass. They're not going to send you a collector's edition package of Street Fighter 6 because you said, oh, it's your TV is the reason why what? this is happening. Okay? They don't like you. You can stop trying to be the, the Capcom Defense Force. Wait, uh, what? Who are you talking you know? to? And, 
some guy on Twitter doesn't points, know you exist or anything like that. You understand? <clears throat> Who are we dissing now? Anyway. He's obviously talking about a specific person. So that's my experience. And the thing is, I did have fun. Like playing it with Blanca again. For the first <laughs> so time stupid, month man. And this I feel hurts. Like if I play more with Blanca, um, I would have a better time. Like if I keep playing with Blanca and plugging away, I'll probably get a bit better. I'll get, get some more strength. Uh, yeah. Anal yard yeah. for the membership, dude. Likely. We'll, I'll get, I'll, I'll end up being better and getting a better record, but I got to get there. And that's the thing. It's going to take grinding just like it did to grind to master. This now is going to be a grind to get into that mentality of how to play <laughs> master, right? A lot of the so this I is not, we're not even grinding towards a goal. We're grinding towards a mentality. There's not even like an end point to this. We're going to grind until he's mentally able to be competitive. That's what the new grind is about. It's competitive coin. Doing, uh... It's master coin ranks, likely will not work in master you know some people it's funny because some people would not tech a throw once and others tech every throw it's like, okay yeah, that's crazy so some people are just at a bit a different level in master wow right? so you gotta adjust. people playing will, differently than better. other people right, that's but, uh yeah that's interesting it's right now the initial the initial response or the initial feeling i had was a little bit of disappointment and feeling disheartened because I had worked hard to get to master twice with Blanca, and now that I'm there, oh well, you're at a disadvantage to everyone, just deal with it. Oh, well, no, that's. And to think, this is Indrid's dream husband. We yeah, need right. To snap her out of pignosis. I heard all of this on the Onion, so it must be real. Uh, I'm I'm sure she loves him and she wants them to get married, but it's impossible. He already has a soulmate, and she's not leaving. So take like that, that team divorce and chat agrees with me like that it should be that everyone's an equal footing and there we go snood confirmed this is 100 percent real this is so we're having breaking so news right day, now me going to an arcade and here's street fighter on a cabinet and the person on the left but hand dude this guy needs to learn that his life is not an underdog montage in some 80s movie that's not how shit works sometimes you're just not good enough and sometimes you're just straight up trash and even though he thinks he's he's making it and he's going to get back to prominence and people are going to respect him once more before he retires, that's not happening. It's not happening. Get over it. Start playing some video games and reading out Super Chats. And side, their controls work perfectly. And on the right-hand side, for some reason, the buttons don't work half the time. But it's, you're still paying the same money to play the game and you're still expected to play at a competitive level. And if you lose, you still got to get off the cabinet. Well, how is that fair? That's, and I dealt with that all the time back in the day. It's the same feeling, you know? It's It pisses you off, and you're, you're annoyed. At the same time, though, I controlled my anger, and I am happy about that, that now, I, I you know, unlike when I was playing with Aki last week, where there was a lot going on personally in my life, and it really was... was oh, now there's... Nuts. Um, that's cleared up? More cool and calm than collected this week. There so you go. I was upset. I wasn't punching the joystick. I wasn't super angry or anything, you know? For Notice me, how he didn't tell us that the things that were troubling him are now solved? It's almost like he wants you to always feel like there's some tension on you. He never wants to relieve that tension. He's going to bitch about it so much if something bad is happening to him, but if something good is happening to him, he's going to be quiet. Dropping. It wasn't uh, being upset. I'm not going to say anything. Playing, which, yeah, some of them were pattern players, but it was more being upset that I can't even get my moves out. You know what I mean? That's a different feeling. So, anyway, <clears throat> more coming, and we'll hopefully see if it goes better. All right? Um, anyway, so that was yesterday. Let's talk about the schedule coming up today. More Resident Evil 4 and schedule talk DLC. Now, now we get to um, skip. That was the good part. So I'm skipping to present. To do, let's see what happens. If this week I finish separate ways, oh my god, he's still talking Lies about schedule. I get time to play the Modern Warfare beta. We get you know, we focus on Assassin's Creed Mirage. Maybe I squeeze in a couple other streams. Maybe I'll do. Lords of the Fallen. But here's my problem. Lords of the Fallen comes out the 13th. Sonic Superstars on the 17th. Spider-Man 2 on the 20th. Super Mario Bros. Wonder on the 20th. Uh, I'm pretty sure Lords of the Fallen is going to be in his Lords most disappointing Fallen. list. After Lies of right? P, he's probably going to hate it or point, pretend I'll like he hates it. To try to get further in and finish Assassin's Creed Mirage. I don't see how I'm going to finish it. There's too much else coming out. And I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I feel like those other games will have more priority. I do. I'm just being honest. Like, You're just being honest, just though. The Soulsborne, I don't know how much I'm going to care about another Soulsborne back-to-back. -back. As good as people seem to say it is, you know. Um, we'll have to play it by ear. I'm not saying no. Let's put it that way. I'm not saying no, I'm skipping Lords of the Fallen. I'm just saying around this middle of the month is really where it's going to get tough. It's going to get very, it's gonna very get tough. tough. 
It's been if tough. I, if I start playing that game. Over this I last summer. To skip different games uh, in the future instead of that. You know, I don't know. We'll talk about that more as we get closer to it. All right. Now, in the meantime, tonight, I will be reviewing Scream 5 for my React channel, DSP React. Uh, I was going to originally do it last night, but because I went a little extra to play extra Street Fighter, uh, I didn't get a chance. I think I'll do it tonight. Uh, I'm very happy to talk about this movie. I watched it, and I have mixed feelings. Some things I really liked about Scream 5, and some things I didn't like at all. So I want to review the movie for you guys over on that channel. So it's YouTube.com. Oh, he's not going to like the dialogue in that movie. It's all the like movie we'll all be doing is Gen Z Hills, dialogue. Which is the second in the... My God, why are they talking movie. like that? After that, I'll be reviewing Scream 6. Oh, my God. And then after that, I'll be reviewing Halloween Ends. If I have time near the end of the month, I may review some more movies. I, I was actually looking on the various different digital distribution things that are out there. Digital and distribution there's things. That are available to me either on Macs or on Amazon Video. So I may watch one or two more and review them. Only if I have time, though. It really depends on time constraints this month. Um, one thing I'm, I'm, I'm kind of not necessarily upset, but I'm peeved at. So there's certain movies I've been wanting to watch for years, and they're just not available anywhere. For example, Ghostbusters uh, Afterlife. Wait, I thought now, he like, said he wasn't going playing MW? Uh, no, he's going to play the beta. I, I think he said even yesterday he's going to play the beta. Because it's a free beta. Humongous Ghostbusters fan. Isn't I it? I think it is. Kid, I was a giant oh, yeah, he's going to play it for the, the hype. I watched hype. the shit out of the movie a million times. I watched the cartoon series. I owned all the action figures. I loved the sequel. I was the biggest Ghostbusters fucking guy, right? Then when they announced Ghostbusters 2016, I was like, fuck, man. They ruined the franchise. So then it's, oh, no. Ghostbusters Afterlife is technically kind of like Ghostbusters 3, but not really. It is a, a continuation of the plot. You're going to want to see it. People said it's great. <clears throat> I still haven't seen it. Why? Because it's not available to watch on any service that anyone would fucking have, and you can't well, You can it. buy the Blu-ray. You have to either have stars or buy it. Why? So, just... wait, wait. If you have stars, isn't that like a TV channel streaming service type of thing? So you can actually see it on streaming, I guess? Spend like $3 and watch it? It's not, it's not on any of these services and the thing is like usually you can even like rent it on youtube or something it's not there either you have to buy it for like 15 dollars i don't want to buy the movie i just want to watch it once i don't know if i'm going to like it you know but i, I mean, don't you can get pirate it that's what i would do to, to watch it it's that's frustrating that certain movies now are locked to certain services it's like <clears throat> so i wanted to watch this movie today so i have to do this subscription just for this month to watch that one movie but then there's another movie over here i wanted to watch and so i have to get this other subscription over here it's a fucking mess. Can't you just buy, buy the Blu-ray for like it's 10, 15 bucks? It, did, it, it used to be that either it's available for free somewhere to watch or it is. you just be able to rent it for like five bucks. You can bucks. download it. Now you need to have 17 different services to see movies. No, you don't. It's, it's I don't have dumb. any of them. All these, these companies. I just steal it from the internet. The digital distribution is so bad. That's what I am, a dirty like damn stealer. And I'm, I'm not going to, because everyone said, oh, sign up for stars and sign up for this and sign up. For, I'm not signing up for 700 things. Well, then because you're not watching one, the movie, I'll dummy. Again, I'll fucking get charged again, which I don't want to. And number two, it's just too much of a hassle. Sign up, then cancel. Then sign up again later if you want that one movie, then cancel again. How much no, of a hassle you. is it, though? Just make your fucking movies visible so people can watch them. I would spend $5 right now to watch Ghostbusters Afterlife. Can't do that. Not available anywhere. Okay, well, I'm never watching your movie then. Okay. It's your own fucking fault. I mean, they, they already made all their money at release and theatrical release and then physical release. So who fucking cares about watching a movie from like three years ago? Or stop making it like a, a giant. I'm not watching your movie. I want to talk to the it, director. So it's ridiculous. Here's another one. So originally when I was planning this month, okay, I was planning to watch, like I said, the, the Halloween trilogy. So when I was looking this up, all of those movies were available for free. I think one of them was on Max and two of them were on Amazon Video or, or vice versa. It was like one was on one and one was on two. By the time I finally went to watch the movies, oh, we removed them. Well, you should have watched them when... It's fucking you know? Halloween month and you removed <laughs> Halloween movies from your fucking service? Yes, now you have to pay to watch them. He's so angry about this, man. Why is he so just casually angry on a... Super consistent basis. <laughs> What's going free. on in his they fucking just, life? No, sorry. It's Halloween. <laughs> He's so mad. <clears throat> so I did, like, when I watched Halloween uh, 2018, it was like $3. It wasn't a big deal. But still, 
it was it was free and they removed out it. 5k expense doesn't seem like a lot yeah right especially if he's gonna reinvest it into his channel after watching the movie and making the review it seems like an investment in time for me to watch it for halloween like well fuck you man and that's what it is you never even know what's available when they add it then they would take it right away within a month you don't even know what like so I have to rush? So now my life, my free time, my entertainment time has to be dictated by when you want your movies available on your server. Really? What the fuck, man? They made it a big mess. They really did. How much of a consumer are you, dude? So anyway. My free um, time. I'm going to continue. It's going to be dictated by your I'll fucking company. And then there'll be I want to speak to the manager. Horror movies again. I haven't watched horror movies in quite what some a time. bitch. That's why I was thinking outside of watching the two more Halloween. This this right here is literally what bitching means. This, this is but just it's bitching. It's not even complaining. Time. How much time will I have to watch? And also he's bitching about you. stuff without even looking for a reason to make them better or how you can make them better. It's just I don't like this and it fucking sucks and I I fucking hate it. How much time would I have? Somebody should be fired for this. I basically need to squeeze it in. During all the other stuff. Oh, squeeze it in. And remember, a night that I stay a little later to do a game, that means I can't do something after the stream. So. Really? Anyway, what if you just stay like um, 20 minutes? Tonight, I hope you'll check out the review. That invalidates the whole rest of the night because already. it's the DSP's life. That's how it works. About a week over there. Give that a look because the Halloween kills and ends reviews will be coming later on this month. Okay? Okay. All right. Ladies and gents. <clears throat> Very quick plug segment. Then what I'd like to do is brief game news and introduce the new segment of the suggestion box to the show, and then we'll probably do Q&A in the line. Okay? All right. Plugs segment. As you guys know, I'm an independent content creator. That means I don't have any major sponsorships, partnerships, or anything like that. In the 15 years I've been a YouTuber, I have stri strived to stay that way, to stay honest, transparent, oh, man. and truthful with my audience. It's and this one again. a lot of challenging... Uh, a lot of challenging hurdles I've had to jump over to keep it that way. Like what? A lot of YouTubers, as you noticed, probably in the last five plus years, have completely... Why do we gotta bring them down on a regular basis, man? Why do we have to do this every day? ...to run a million ads during Does it make you feel street. good? ...need to plug a bunch of things, use <sighs> this referral code, buy this from me, do this, do this. I don't do any of that, okay? And it's rough, because I don't have any of those sources of income, all right? But the reason that I'm able to stay truly independent and I can say, and whatever truly I independent, feel, and whatever I really mean is because of you. No, because you guys have independently supported and funded me for 15 years. I can still be here in 2023, being true to myself and giving you. No, honor. dude, that's literally the opposite of how it works. Because if you remember, like two months ago, he said a stupid joke about Jesus being a zombie, and people that liked him and used to send him stuff in real life, they were so pissed off that they left. So no, you can't say whatever you want. Honest opinion. If anything, you're way more dependent than any of the other people. I don't have to kiss a game's butt to make money for a paid product placement or for a promotional stream of a game because that doesn't exist. I don't benefit by kissing a game's butt. Vice versa, I don't get clickbait views because I slam a game either. I can just be me, and I hope that you guys know his literal most famous video of all time is clickbait. I really enjoy that he admits was clickbait. Doing that, <clears throat> and I hope that you appreciate it because, man, like I said, it hasn't been easy at all. But I do appreciate all of you who support my content every single day. All right, if you do like this content, you like the fact that I keep it independent and that I make curated content for a specific audience oh we got that word again we got the c word i follow all the trends and i have clickbait titles and clickbait thumbnails and i drama content and all kinds of crap but instead if you like someone like me who's different please support the stream in one of the following ways number one engagement which is key liking the streams liking the videos leaving comments on them the ones that you like please like you don't have to like everything but if you're enjoying a piece of content that you're watching please give it a like and remember commenting on a stream leaving a comment on a video even as simple as hey just leave in this comment because you know i like your stuff want to help you out with the algorithm that helps that seriously helps and would actually make this channel grow so please do that you'd be surprised how many people take it for granted you know i get hundreds to thousands of views on a gameplay video and i'll get five likes so because that's that, pretty sad that means your videos are bad and people don't really watch them all the way through even as love and they don't have any strong feelings towards them so at because on youtube the worst thing that you can do is put out content that people don't care about 
Because if it's bad, they can make fun of you and hate watch it. And if it's good, they can enjoy it and support it. But if it's just mid or bland, like DSP's content, if if anything, it's just is this is what's gonna happen. You know, if you get more than that, if I could if I could get 100 likes on every video I upload on this site, my channel would actually pro be propelled into the the search rankings. But you know, people have to remember I don't to do it. And they usually... products. I just shake you down for money to fund my spending addiction. Uh, it's meaningful. Sound good? I I really wish he was chilling stuff. That would make it so much more not despicable. You don't. Because I would understand. Somebody paid him for something. He's giving it a shout out. He's promoting it. That's it. That's just how it works. So please, if you want, if you want this to be your job, that's just how it works. Consider it, okay? Um, if you want to go above and beyond, uh, I want him to chill like literally you everything. You dollar Shave that. Club. You Imagine if he was doing a Dollar Shave Club plug and he looks like this. For thanks on that's a awesome. video that's eligible for it. Or like thanks Blue Chew. Actually, did that. I love Blue Chew. Personally, like literal Viagra. Posted. And thank those people in those. As you guys might know, there's a, a percentage of correlation between gout and erectile dysfunction. Now, I have the solution for you. It's called Blue Chew. Make sure to go to bluechew.com slash fill to get 10% off your first box, okay? I really appreciate those who do that behind the scenes. <clears throat> um... Membership and Does gifted membership to the Phil, channel. Does 2023 Phil have the worst voice? Dude, uh, I, I really hate his 2017 voice, but at least it had more energy in it. Because this is just like... Very ah, it's, it's, right, it's so bad. He's just gone. gone. A lot of them become recurring memberships when people enjoy it so much. That and he's always sleepy, themselves. hungover. He membership. looks like shit. Uh, right now, looks so scuffed. to hit 640... Uh, excuse me, 600... My goal originally was 675 members this week, and then in the last two days, we lost over 50 members. They expired. They were gifted memberships that people did not renew. So just today, we can get 625 members by the end of today. That would be great. But obviously... I'm trying to hit goals here, and I, my goal originally was 675. Considering that we got today and tomorrow, we're probably not going to hit those that goal, right? It's probably unrealistic. <clears throat> so, if you like features, memberships your Whoa, way to go. features. I love them. That I have on this what channel. What do we get? The ability to talk as much as you want in the live stream. Whoa, you can talk a lot. You can ignore the slow mode. A cool chat crown badge. Yeah, fuck you, slow mode. I'm a member. Highlighted messages. When you Whoa, comments, you highlighted messages. And of course, priority for special events coming up. Dude, this is my favorite event. one. You guys now are able to nominate games for said event. Members get to nominate twice in the open thread and twice? the open thread. And members will be selected. Oh, look at all these benefits, dude. The actual games or more. Where's my Velcro wallet in and my event, credit okay? card? <clears throat> so please consider it. Or maybe you're someone who watches the content and enjoys it and you want to help out your fellow viewer, help out the community, you can gift some memberships to the community as well. That'll oh yeah, uh, by the way, if you're an ultra member of DSP, you pay more than you would pay for a streaming service like Netflix or Max. That's just a fun fact. And then last, there's tipping. Tipping is very important for a couple of reasons. Number one, when you tip me, I can get a tip right away. I can put that tip towards something important immediately, like bills or the cost of these new games coming out this month or going grocery shopping this Thursday. That's literally where the tips go, okay? Number two, when you tip me, that's a direct contribution to my PayPal, and there's really no middleman besides PayPal. Yes, PayPal takes a cut, but it's way less of a cut than other contribution methods. Bro, so, how much money do you actually man, want, man? I tip. I have uh, daily tips he's looking to cut to out the middleman, too. That's so greed. Far this week we did it. Every single stream this week we've hit the tier one tips goal of fifty bucks. Let's keep that momentum going. There's two more days in the streaming week. Let's see if we can keep that. He should just do like, like wire transfer, just direct wire transfer tips, so he can get all of it. Later, we do have rewards in place or a check. Um, for <laughs> those. <laughs> The big month is now over 10 minutes long on a daily basis for the same 100 to 200 people every day, and the dents genuinely don't see anything wrong with this. Weren't well, they supposed to tell him when he was doing it again? But you know, it, it... I lose it every time he tries to come up with reasons to get a Flowers membership for his failing channel. Yeah man, the memberships are fucking trash, but uh, with the for the other comment, uh, the, the dents don't notice because he's, he's increasing the 
the time it takes them to do the plugs by a little bit every day. So it's like, you know, Chinese water torture. It's it's slowly but surely gonna get you killed in the end. Getting your super member video skipped on React Day. That's my favorite benefit. I should become a, a super member just so I can send him a food video and they so can skip it. To anyone who contributes in any way. <clears throat> and uh let's keep it going, shall we? Alright. Some brief game news today. Oh, we got game news. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do we got? My favorite segment, your Team favorite Star? Favorite, everyone's favorite segment. It's time for the incorrectly colored DSP news. All right. Let's actually correctly color that. There we go. Very nice. So, uh, two brief pieces of news today. Nothing too crazy, okay? Piece of news number one. Piece of news number one. Let's talk uh, Game Pass games. Great. New Game Pass Oh, games yeah, let's talk about Game Pass. October. If you're a Game Please Pass, talk about uh, Game Pass. Subscriber. Please. Here's what you're going to get. Today, Gotham Knights. Remember Gotham hey, Knights? Hey, big Greedo for the membership, yeah, dude. Yeah, it actually comes out uh, today on Game Pass. It's massively so strong. Watch people play it last year, and you were like, man, I don't want to pay money for that because it looks to me like, uh, you know, this, this is a game that just didn't run well. I'll agree with you. The gameplay elements are sound. The story was good. I liked switching between four different characters, but the graphics weren't that good because the frame rate sucked. That was the one shortcoming of the game. The frame rate was just not good. Everything else was pretty good. All right. Apparently, that made game the Pass graphics today, also not good. Uh, Lamp Lighters League. I know absolutely nothing about that game, but it comes out on Game Pass. Oh, he knows about the uh, Gas Lighters tomorrow, League. Warhammer 40k Dark. He's a professional at that. Is that the first person shooter game that hey big ups for the five gifts like greedo and stuff Did shout out for is? for hate didn't it wasn't it supposed to come out ages ago and it got delayed B B and i guess maybe it did come out, out meantime, but now they're releasing it for game pass is that true i'm not sure but anyway that comes out tomorrow as well on game pass okay something else um of course, we all know about this one because I've been talking about it. October 10th. Oh, we all know about it. Which I'm interested in trying. Because Phil's been talking stream, about it. Even if it ends up, I don't like it. Yeah. I'm just trying it for one stream to see if, I, if, if it's worth playing. I might give it a shot. On October 12th from space. I don't know what that is. Uh, never heard of it. But then on October 17th, another one someone might be interested in. Like a Dragon Ishin. I played this game earlier this year. This is like a Dragon, Dragon Ishin. That originally came he out. He played Ishin already. Japan. They finally converted it for English-speaking audiences. What? And it essentially plays like an old-school Yakuza game, like maybe Yakuza 4, but it's in Feudal Japan. Well, not really. It's after Feudal Japan. It's during that transition. Bro, he period. played the game. Samurais were on the way out, and guns and stuff were on the way in. So it's kind of like a culture clash plotline. Um, it was good. Isn't now, it the same game? Like the style of the older yakuza games you will absolutely love this game if you like the more modern yakuza games like the turn-based or the more oh but now because it's going to like it. it's game pass or something actually. i don't know i'm very uh, confused really this is a really it. terrible it a nice new segment that we did much earlier this year that worked for my streams so it's on game pass now well i say take that back it'll be on game pass on the 17th of october so give that a look okay <clears throat> so that's uh, the game pass games coming up i'll let you guys know if any more notable ones are coming up soon um, the other piece of information that came out this morning that's actually quite interesting to see the public's reaction. This is going to be hype. People Let's are now see what playing Spider-Man 2. The review copies have gone out. And it is official. One of the early reviewers have said they completed Spider-Man 2, 100% of the game, at 30 hours. 30 okay. 30 hours of playtime. It's not bad. 100% it. It did all the missions, all the side content, everything. Okay. Okay. And the funny part about that is... I'm not kidding. There's some people who are very happy about this, and there's some people who are very upset. What, what do you think about this? this? Dichotomy. Why do you care about those people? When it comes to game length in the modern era. Some people now, it seems anyway, <clears throat> have been almost like uh, programmed in their heads to think that every video game must be incredibly lengthy. Um, Every video game you buy, bro. This dude is fucking ranting about people on Twitter again. Stop, dude. Log out of Twitter. Go outside. God damn it, man. To Eighty hours of content, and if you buy a video game that doesn't have that much content, what you're a getting stupid off. fucking segment. It didn't used to be like that. You know, when I started <clears throat> on YouTube, 
15 years ago, you'd be lucky to get a game that had 10 hours of content. And I mean that too. Like games were darn short back then. You'd buy a first person shooter. It would be have a five, six hour campaign. And then you go online and you play the online for a few hours and realize it's no call of duty and you never play it again, <clears throat> you know, or a narrative action based game, a platformer. They were very short. You know, it's funny because you talk about games like the classics. You're aware that Bioshock wasn't a super long game, right? It wasn't. But people have these nostalgic feelings about these games back in the day. Like, oh, they're so, you know. No. It wasn't until the mid-life era of PS4 and Xbox One that games all, for, for some reason, started. Oh, they had a mid-life crisis. Crazy amounts of padding and content to extend the length of the game. And the question is, when you get these games that are 40 to 80 hours long, is it quality over quantity or quantity over quality? Right? How many games have we seen in the last several years where... Depends. Oh, is it meaningful? Point. That's sorry, what he's going to say. will be so upset with me, but I'm going to say it right now. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's an outstanding game. Don't get me wrong. All right? I enjoy well, the it. The content isn't it's meaningful. Plot points. I enjoyed it's looking too at much the fluff, huh? The story was great. But there is an insane amount of content in Tears of the Kingdom that has absolutely no reason to be in the game. It doesn't add anything. It's just there to say there's more content. So you can play Tears of the Kingdom for 100 hours, or you can play it for 40. You'll get the exact same story, the exact same major points of the gameplay. <clears throat> and you really won't get much added uh, experience. You know what I'm saying? From the game if you played the 100 hours. But you could have played it for 100 hours. What was the point, though? Right? That's what I think the problem is today. Games that have the content, but the content is essentially bloat. It bloats the length of your game artificially. Okay, man. So we, like, we get it. We it know really that this is a thing. It's not meaningful. He's just pointing out the obvious. There's really now, nothing the interesting word... or insightful in this. And he's not even saying his opinion outside of the whole Zelda thing. First case are games that force you to play the bloat to beat the story. At least in Tears of the Kingdom, you can ignore the bloat. You don't have to play it all. You can just skip most With of it. With watching DSP, right you, you can never game. ignore the blow. Well, it's always like there. Mafia 3. Oh my god, that was the worst case scenario. Where the game actually forced you to do base takeovers and boring ass repetitive garbage to just unlock the uh, next No, mission. No, you, can, you can just fun. do a, a few of them. Bearable. They, you that don't was, have to do all of them. Years, that's the worst case. And also, I Mafia 3 was like, what, 2013? To even 2014? That was annoying. Wow, that's a great yeah. and relevant example, Phil. We're talking about here with Spider Man. You can just 2. say Assassin's Creed. The game is 30 hours long if you do everything. But does that mean that the story is like 15 hours long? Maybe 20? What do you think about that? You know, I look at it and I'm like, well. Can I be honest? I think that's good. I think that 30 oh, hours... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. The pop-ups were muted. It's going to have some, you know, content. So I got to replay them again. Take over probably some side missions and things, but also an interesting story, oh, good okay. graphics. Bungie did Latinx to be racist at them. Oh, yeah, I saw the Latinx post. I thought it was corny as fuck. Companies should stop oh, posting corny look shit look like this. Former bodybuilder arms. Yeah, man, it's the arms are combat. great. I mean, I I'm one to length. say, but... I think on. that's a really good length. All right? Maybe when you start hitting the 40 to 60 hour mark, that's when you start to feel the blow. And you start to feel a little bit of the, re the repetitiveness of it uh, being too long. You know what I mean? As gamers, right? What we need to start doing is judging quality. No enough of the quantity. You know what I mean? Take a look at Starfield right now. Currently in Starfield, I'm around 35 hours into the game. Okay? So far... What has been fun in Starfield? The main plot and the faction quests. What has sucked in Starfield? Anytime you have to go into space to do space combat or anything else. Anything involving building your ship. Anything involving research. Anything involving crafting and, and, you know, and gathering of resources. So you look at that dichotomy you're like, so wait a minute. They just streamlined the game to be a story-based game and take out all that crap. It would be a better game. Yeah, it would. It actually would. Because you could actually get to the meat of what's what's important and fun about the game. You know, maybe Starfield should be a 40-hour game, not a 100-hour game. And maybe people would like it better if it was a 40-hour game. And you didn't have all that fancy shit they tried to shove in. That's not good. But you right? don't... There's so much content... A lot of that you don't have to do. And I've played the game for a relatively short period of time, and I know you don't have to do a lot of that stuff. You can mostly ignore them. Hello. 
that you don't need to have in that game that doesn't add anything. My wife beat Starfield, and she's like, I never once even figured out what outposts were. Uh, like, that's because she's do. stupid. There was no point in never. That's because it's anything. Cat. I, I mean, come on. All the Are we treating quests? Cat she like a? Story. She did all the companion quests. Like a gamer she said, I did right all now. The stuff that was fun. Really? I never touched an outpost. I don't even know what it's there for. <laughs> oh, really? And she also told me research. She never made use of any research in the game. Does nothing. You don't need it. It's completely superfluous. Well, she was oh, playing on easy, game. probably. That's why. Yeah. Because I mean, I've seen Cat play video games, and I I would. Definitely say way, that she is not very bright. Like 80 hours or something like that, you know? So that's what I mean. Maybe the problem today is that game developers are so dead set on quantity that they're just not making quality anymore, you know? And if maybe, just maybe, game developers would focus just on the quality, then the games would be a little shorter, but they'd be better. And guess what would happen? We wouldn't have 40 zillion dollar budgets to make a video game anymore. We wouldn't have seven-year development cycles where they announced Starfield back in, like, 2012 or whatever the fuck it was, and it took them so long to pump it out that by the time it comes out, there's no way it can live up to modern expectations. Maybe, just maybe, if we had actually people who were directing these game projects intelligently rather than with these ginormous scopes of what they want to do that they can never live up to that kind of hyper-expectation, these games would be much better. I still remember to this Bro, I hate these rants because they're so fucking... Like, you would expect this dude who's been quote-unquote covering gaming for over 15 years now professionally to have something insightful to add and not just like a generic, super generalized opinion. Hey, if games were like good, then uh, people would like them because they're good. Take that, big gaming. One of the earliest games I played the on frauds. YouTube was called The Darkness 2, all right? At the time, this game was incredibly short. It was, I think the story was around six hours long, and then it had online play that was quite fun. And I remember when I played The Darkness 2, almost no one was covering it on YouTube because it was so short. And I finished playing it, and I was told everyone, that's one of the best stories I've experienced in a video game since I've done YouTube. It was so good. It was unique. It was interesting. It was intriguing. It didn't overstay its welcome. It had multiple levels of interest and twists in the plot and cool gameplay and gore, if you like that kind of stuff. It was well done. And even though that game was incredibly short, it still resonates with me today. I still remember it because it was so well done. It didn't matter that it was so short. You know what I'm saying? So when I hear, oh, Spider-Man 2, all right, is going to be 30 hours long. Right? I say, okay. Okay, now is the point where he actually gives you his opinion. Good. Maybe that means I can play Spider-Man 2 and still play other games and also have a life. Right? You don't have I'm a life, though. investing in the Spider-Verse for the next 17 months where I have to tattoo spiders on my body and wear a spider suit when I go And the office. extreme. And there we go. We're jumping to the most extreme life. scenario. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just play Spider-Man, enjoy the game for what it is, and move on. Because it's not an insane investment like all these fucking games seem to think that we want. I'm not looking for a ginormous investment. Yeah, but also this game costs uh, 79.99 euros. So I don't know many people that are going to be convinced to spend that amount of money for a very short experience. I'm, I'm not saying it's very short. I think games should usually be about 20 to 30 hours. If it's something like Spider-Man. I thought the first game had like perfect time. Uh, not. The perfect length. I want to play a game. Enjoy it. But the DLCs were bad. The rest of my life. You know, just like a movie. When I'm going to watch a movie, I want to watch that movie, enjoy it, and, and go on to something else. And if I like the movie, maybe I like more movies down the line, and I would pay more money to see more of them. But I don't need it to be a ginormous sponging up of my time. And it seems like more and more games just feel like that's what they want to be. Well, I don't want you to sponge up my lifetime. I want to enjoy my life outside of just games. This is supposed to be a side diversion, not an investment, you know? Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that games that are an investment of time are bad. I'm just saying that not every game has to be that. And it seems like recently that's exactly the route we've been going. Every game seems to want to suck up all of your time. That doesn't work. <clears throat> you need to be able to pick and choose. In one year, I want two games that are incredibly long. Give me Baldur's Gate 3... And, I don't know, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, maybe, right? Those are my two long games for the year. And then I want some shorter games. So give me Assassin's Creed Mirage 
and give me Spider-Man 2. What if I don't like some of those games? So I'll play Street Fighter 6. What's wrong with that? Instead of, oh, here's a 40-hour game, here's a 70-hour game, here's a 100-hour game, here's an 80-hour game, here's a 60-hour game. How the fuck am I supposed to play all these and enjoy them? Can't. They all cut into each other. So I actually feel that Spider-Man being 30 hours is a good thing. As long as those 30 hours are fun and meaningful and action-packed and they don't get too repetitive and you're always kind of kept on your toes with the plot and maybe the gameplay elements are keep evolving as you unlock new abilities between the two characters and the like, as long as they can keep it fresh and interesting, then that 30 hours is exactly right. But some people disagree. There's some people are so upset. I'm not kidding. So H upset. Has he actually brought up the cost of money? And that they're getting more and more expensive. The the cost of games. Yeah, it's because I I think all he brought up is things that directly relate to him because he's a streamer and he gets to play games all the time. Only thirty hours. Well, that's bullshit because I just paid seventy dollars. Hey, there we go. For yeah, a game it's seventy dollars. One hundred and forty-seven hours. It's quite a lot of money. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, again, everyone can disagree. I, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. If you're listening to this right now, you know, on demand, obviously you can share your thoughts in the comments on the video. I'd like to hear what you think. Or just leave a bot uh, comment for engagement. Some people in chat... That's the same thing, basically. That 30 hours is sufficient. Like, Lady just said, 30 hours is decent. Might have other modes like New Game Plus to play it again, right? And then uh, someone actually, uh, Pride Ashitaka says, Yeah, I, 1,000 hours of Ticket 7, only 60 bucks. It, it, also, it also depends on the genre, correct? Because you're absolutely right. Like, Street Fighter Six. Since I bought it in June, how many hours have I played it? I think I'm like 80 hours in on PS5 and like 100 or more hours in on Xbox. So, yeah, I've gotten like 200 hours out of the game already. And I'm probably going to continue to play it, right? <clears throat> so you're absolutely right. Parasolo says 30 hours is the right amount for me. There you go. All right, anyway. So that's what's going on in gaming news. Now, what I'd like to do before we get to show What a great today, segment. What, like go to, to the bathroom? A new idea... That was actually, I will... Oh, the suggestion box thing. Yeah, yeah let's uh, let's nice take a look. Cloudy today. Nice autumn weather. Here comes the sun to heat up the fucking office. Fuck you, son. Oh, yeah. Take that, son. You got schooled. The sun is crying downstairs right now. It's getting depression. <sighs> Fuck you, son. Okay. No, not the a sun. No, the we segment, need it. But Don't kill it, Phil. That I would like to introduce to the channel is an idea that well, I will be, you know, give credit where credit is due. This idea was give, uh, thought up of, thought up by a viewer and channel member, uh, cool. Overpower Boom. All oh, right. wow. So here's the idea. Never heard of him. I have created a thread on the channel page, community tab of this channel. This thread is called the suggestion box. Oh, this you guys are going to love this. And during the course of a month, you will be able to go to this thread and post up suggestions for the channel. Suggestions can include the following. Games you'd like to see me play. Projects you'd like to see me do. Ideas for marathons and or special events. Suggestions for improvement for my setup. Maybe some hardware recommendations. Maybe a, you know something for the lighting. Maybe something new for the background stuff like that um but notably anything that you can come up with during the month that you think would be a positive improvement to the channel literally tell now, me everything obviously the whole tell me everything box is and i'll just do it and feel entitled for money sound if good i start seeing idiots posting up trolling shit you're just gonna get banned like anyone else if okay but comment. but the thing is you're gonna fucking read it phil that's all about trolling that's what trolling is all about that you read it in your little pathetic soul, you feel hurt. That's what it's all about. And many, many people are going to do it now. Many, many people. Trolling, you know, something in the chat. You're going to get banned anyway. I, I'm i just going to wipe you right the fuck out. Because I'm not going to put up with that nonsense. The whole point is that I'm trying to get a central point where I can get constructive feedback on how to improve my content. Okay? You guys all the time throw me suggestions for improvement, and sometimes I remember them and I implement them, and sometimes I listen, but I'm like, okay, I'm not ready for that right now, but it would be great to have a place to focus all of those suggestions, right? Notably right now, what I really need help with is that over the last few months, a lot of people have come out and asked me, do you have merch? And the answer I have is no, I don't have any merchandise. And I get, well, why don't you have merch? I don't get it. You're a 15-year YouTuber. Well, I had merch. 
I had merchandise. Why are we talking about this again? He talked about this yesterday. They reached out to me in 2017. Oh, another rerun. Streamer. And when I did, they actually contacted me and said, hey, since you're a full-time streamer, you might want some merch to sell to your viewers. Here's what we offer. A website where you can create your own product. You know, if you have your own art and logos, you upload them to the site. You can make shirts. You can make hats. You can make mugs. You can make stickers. You can do all of that. You even set your profit margins. They showed me all of this on how to do it. They, they're uh, an actual agent of the company worked with me, taught me how to use the site, and actually designed my initial product line for me. You see that shirt that says, um, I'm pressing buttons and it shows random directions and like- <laughs> That's a really terrible shirt. shirt. They designed that shirt. Oh, they did a I bad did, job. They designed that shirt but for me. But it was me. free. No input in it. They just, I told them, you know, I play fighting games and they made that shirt for me, okay? So they were all on board. For merch, they loved it. And I was on that website 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Never a problem. Never, never, lot once did I get a complaint, nothing. Then in 2021, one day says to, someone says to me, Phil, are you aware that your, your shop is down? No, I didn't get any notification about that. Let me go check it out. And I go to check it out and the page has been removed. Huh? Huh? So I reach out. You just to lean them. in manual ban him with no to reason. Ask what's going on? Hell. And they basically just say your page was removed and we, you know that's it. And I was like, well, can I restore it? No, you'll never be able to restore it. Well, can you tell me what happened? What I did? And then they just ghosted me. They never answered. So come to find out, in 2021, there was a concerted effort from my hate watchers slash haters, idiots on the internet who love to bring me down because it yes. gives them personal feelings of some kind of triumph for bullying. No, not not really. And Just entertaining. Because it gives them clickbait content to make so they make money on it, right? Yes. So what they did is yes, they Yes, we've been exposed. There was about two to three dozen people who did this. And what they did is they How does he know? history. They found, you know, out of context. Bro, it's not hard. Videos. It's I'm That shit is not hard. 13 or more years ago. Stuff that back then probably oh, they went back in my history. Humor, today would be considered cancelable. Cancelable right? offense. They basically made a montage of this crap. <clears throat> and what they did is they started sending it around. Why? Because culture's changed. If you haven't noticed in the it's last It's a few portfolio years, of hate. Especially it's a resume of toxicity. You guys love it. Gone, I hate to say it. Very much extreme to the left. All right? Now, I'm not extreme to the left. I'm not extreme to the right. He's There's just no extreme, people. like Tony Hawk. Step out of my lane. I'm a gamer. He's extreme, like, like ECW. But when everything goes extreme to the left, it basically it means, oh, God forbid that you ever said anything that be considered risque or offensive, you're canceled, right? So they went to Twitch's partner program. Okay, that they worked. They went to Teespring. That worked. They went to other services as well that I was working with on Did they work? Level. They didn't work. And they bombarded them all with the same package. The package. <laughs> the pipe bomb of hate. Against me. <laughs> saying, oh, this is who this guy is. Did you know that he used to go by this <laughs> moniker that's, that's racist? Which it never was. But He went by the racist moniker. Up. KKK Phil. That's how they call him in the FGC. Racist Phil. <laughs> Did you know that he... Yeah, that's me. I'm racist Phil. He said these things. And again, out of context clips from 15 years ago. 13 years ago, right? And all these businesses are so dumb. The king of hate, that's not racist, by the way. I mean, I'm fueled by the hate and saying, towards okay, minorities. Yeah. They're just trying to slander the guy. They just felt, oh, let's just oh, cut right, ties right. with him then. Can't believe the detectives sent companies those <laughs> out of context, Nazi and racist jokes. Dude. What's the acceptable context? Yeah, dude? what the fuck? We needed to put him in a context that is acceptable and not cancelable. Right, I out of the Twitch partner program. Teespring closed down my shop and other businesses also. Stop doing business. Well, what are the Even other businesses? Literally, the things that they felt were so offensive happened over a decade ago. Okay, and but they were they okay happened, with though. them. Again, Teespring reached out to me in 2017 and designed my first merchandise. They knew who I was. The content had been out there for ages and ages. So it didn't make any sense whatsoever that they were doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you all of a sudden have a change? Oh, of the other companies is Streamlabs and Stream Elements. I almost forgot. They leaned in manual to him because he was racist. Dude. So that's what happened. And I lost my ability to make merch with Teespring. Yeah, you're now, bad for business, thing. Phil. Cancel yourself. I easily could go to another business right now and set up one of their free shops and start selling merch. But what's to stop people from doing this again? Nothing. Nothing. We're going to do it Especially again. If, uh, these, these businesses, again, 
Can't we are mobilizing the, the hate right? army with hate what I need to do is I care need to packages find a right now. It's not cancel culture friendly. A business <laughs> that's going to realize that this is all bullshit and I should be able to make merch if I want. We need to find the business that's not cancel culture friendly. What the fuck was that verbal diarrhea? I mean, fuck. <laughs> LTG has done way worse things than I've ever done on the internet and he sells like what? jerseys and shit. Did he jerk so off? How does he do it, right? That's what I need to know. He's That's cooler kind of than you, DSP, and he looks better right than now. you. And he's more successful. Um, That's why. I I am looking for uh you know, a business that will not basically bend the knee to a hate mob of people who are yelling at them with out of context shit that I've done, you know, 15 years ago. But I haven't gotten any any suggestions yet. I got He's one basically looking for Kiwi it. Farms. That That's the company he's looking for. He should reach out to Josh. And Josh can make him some t-shirts that he can sell. This would only do, do business if you have 500,000 subscribers or more. Then they would consider it. Outside of that, they were basically, they're kind of very elitist. Well, I don't have 500,000 subscribers. I'll never will. So I guess I can't deal with that company. Well, then right? you can't. So, yeah. Unless anyone has uh, other suggestions, uh, I can't do anything. I'm stuck. I need to know. That, but that's one of the many suggestions. All right. That, that I would absolutely love to get from you guys. Are you aware of a merchandise company who would actually deal with me and, and with reality rather than the fantasy world of cancel? And again, the, the suggestion box is not even a thing that the viewers get to speak their minds. The nuke of hot lol. The, the, the suggestion box is just telling him what to do in a more sophisticated way. So you can go there and write him paragraphs of guides of how he's supposed to do his business. Right? Um, I'd love to God hear that. Damn it. Or anything else. Yeah, the, the all... nuke of love. That's what we need to drop on. Other suggestions we can drop a, so the drone strike of now, positivity. If you're live on stream, you can type exclamation point suggestion. The chemical the attack of chill. Automatically, every 15 minutes, my bot will post that in the chat as an ongoing The threat. car bomb of <laughs> meaning. That's what we need. Or, again, if you're not here watching live, you can just go to the main channel page of the channel, to the community tab, and you'll see the post is there. Okay? So here's how this is going to work. All right? Basically, it'll be running a month, this threat. And then what we will do is either at the end of the month or early next month, and we'll do this every month, we'll have a podcast or two where we will actually together go through those suggestions. That way we can see what people actually suggested over the course of the month and maybe address them and say, oh, that's a good idea. Let's see if we can implement that. Eh, here's why that idea won't work. You know what I mean? It'll give us ample time to go through that stuff. So even more boardroom segments. So we love that. I think that would be a great idea. No, I hope that you guys would consider posting up your positive, constructive suggestions. I'm going to emphasize that again. If trolls go in there and try to post, not only will your post not show up, you'll just be banned from the channel anyway. Just like okay, I'll just make channel, a new so account. May as well not even waste your time. I'll just make okay. ten new accounts, and you have to cool. read my messages right, and so then manually ban me. Going. So you're the, the guy who loses in the end. He's open. Because I get to insult you, you're going to read my insults, and then you're going to ban me. Which doesn't hurt me one bit. Okay? You can just okay. make a new account. Now, I'm getting a suggestion already. Atomic Sports says maybe review it once a week. I could possibly do that. <clears throat> we get Suggestion Saturday. Special okay. segment on the pre-stream. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right. In the meantime, let's get the shout-outs, and then we'll do some Q&A, because now I've gone long on these segments. Shout outs today. We start off with Spawn Killer who gifted a membership and I believe it went to the Scale Scholar. So congratulations there and thank you Spawn Killer for supporting the channel with that membership. As I said, we did lose a lot of members this week. It would be great to get some back. So thank you for helping with that effort. Um Adam did a super chat. Thank you Adam for the super chat this morning. Spawn Killer also did a super chat and says I wish they would make a new the thing movie. Oh, uh, they already did though. Like, they already made a new The Thing at the end of, what was it, the end of the 2000s, I think it was? It was like 2011. Um, it was okay, I saw it. It was alright. I still think the original was better. Uh, the Shin Black did a super chat. Hope you in the chat have a blessed day. Thank you to the Shin Black. That's a very nice positive message for everyone. Appreciate that. There we go. Um, let's see here. All right, on the tip side of stuff. Oh, the tip side. That's going to be super positive. Let's see how many millions of tips Anso we have. Anso Kamaru 
has tipped two dollars. Says the reason why games are crazy long now these days is because of the common gamer. Most of the revenue comes from they don't judge games based off quality. They base it on three factors: brand recognition, length, and being open world or not. This is why there's been an ungodly amount of open world games that overbloated content. Most actual gamers know twenty to thirty hours is the sweet spot, but the vast majority of money does not come from them. And I'm excluding Western RPGs, Japanese RPGs, and visual novels from this because they've been historically long. That's a bro, game, right? Opinion. Less essays, please. Damn. Open up a forum. I don't know. What Start do you a blog. Think? Anzu Kamaru. I, I don't know. I feel like. Please. Do you want to know the truth? And now you're making DSP yeah, have to I say think. something about that and get I back on this hate topic. To say it, but I do think that in this modern day, oh. it's all about hype and, and memes. It's all about the like, game and how you play it. Advertising budget and gets hyped because of it. That's what Triple H sell. said. It doesn't matter how long it is. If a and game then became the game. Out by and then it all became about him, theory. basically, because he is the game. It, then it sells a ridiculous amount of copies, right? Or, you know, take a look at the, the fucking games that have made the most money. Grand Theft Auto Online and fucking Fortnite, right? Do those, were the, those games were endless, right? Endless content, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I think there's many factors to look at. Perhaps, perhaps you're right on some of those fronts. Okay, that was a great Thank response. You for Kamaru, by the Let's way. just uh, oh, in the meantime, also let's just move on. I received a twenty dollar tip from One oh. Minute Man. Oh, that, that's that's like early. One Minute Man has begun to tip uh, earlier now. Yeah. Which is interesting. Thank you for that, One Minute. That's Man. so you don't get scared, you little piece of uh, shit. Because otherwise, he's here. late and then he's squirming in his chair. Oh my god, it's PayPal working. Uh, the, the One Minute Man memory. tip didn't my come through. Oh my god. So he doesn't tweak. One Minute Man is basically DSP's caretaker at this point. It's it's incredibly pathetic. I had to think twice about that animation. I have to see it all month. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you for the tip. One minute, man. That gets us up to twenty-two dollars in tips. Remember, the goal is to hit the tier one tip skull every stream. So that's a good chunk towards it before we even started the game, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, we have very. You should come time even even earlier. If you guys want to do a little bit of Q and A and ask me a question? Um, no, let's not do that. Get set up here. So, let's actually uh, not do the Q&A. Uh, why doesn't he also... Kagome dude, because YouTube has the, the Q&A thing now where the person running the stream can open up a Q&A and you can go to a different tab and ask him a question. Why doesn't he do that so then he can open up the tab and read through the questions and pick the ones that he wants to answer? Instead of just sitting here and having dead air while he picks a question. Games are Vice City and San Andreas. Well, good for you. A lot of people think that those are the best ones. Disciple Food Reviews just became a channel member. Thank Whoa, you, Disciple that's epic. Food Reviews, for becoming a keep, member. Keep slurping the, the the soup food that's reviews. Soda you're drinking? Yeah, you're drinking a soda in your thumbnail. Yeah, he's drinking a Armor soda, you guys. Give us options for glasses. Right now, I have the newer Gunner glasses, and I have the originals that I wore for like a year or two. The thing is, these were completely wearing out. I actually think these look better. But they have that stupid rubberized shit. And it's it's like yucky. It's sticky. And I've tried cleaning them and they just won't. Like for whatever, it's you know, it's so they're so old. They're over a decade old. That they fucking disintegrated. So maybe I could wear these sparingly, I guess. But I would, you know, the other ones are made of Why plastic. Why does all of his so they're, property they're really disintegrate? In that regard. But I do like these. I do like this. I think these actually. Is he look toxic? A like, actually, physically, the literally better. toxic? If you guys wanted to choose between the two, I wouldn't care. Like, I'd be willing to wear either pair. It's not that big of a deal. Drain U says if you use talcum powder. Oh, yeah, and he said yucky. Fixes that stickiness. I don't know if I that don't know. Work. I guess that's how he Thomas talks with cat. They alcohol? talk in the baby language. Uh, I don't know. Oh, what's up, we cat? Try, how are you it's doing, gross, baby? Like like, oh, it's sticky. What are you playing, like babe? Said, cleaning solution, everything. It's just oh, wow. So Jasper weird. shit on the no. floor again. It's so but yucky. Anyway, that's what I've Yikes. Now, if anyone else has suggestions. Oh, I'm going to stop with this. Again, that may be something to put into the suggestion box. Hey, I suggest this pair of glasses. Here's a link. Check it out. But it would have to be something that's not expensive. Like, I've looked into other Gunner glasses. They're always expensive. They're always like $80. I'm like, dude, I'm not fucking spending $80. Dude, on buy them. They're going to make you play video games expensive. better. Maybe if there was a cheaper one. You guys, that's a great thing to suggest for the suggestion box, for sure. What? Okay. Glasses? Here. Dude. I received a $2 tip from an anonymous tipper. My English may not be the best. I'm from the other side of the world. 
if I tip off stream times, could you shout it out on the next podcast? Thanks. I was brought in by Lies of P. Yeah, I've already explained this. That if you're a newcomer, maybe you didn't hear it then. So let me explain it again. Yes, if you tip uh, between streams, let's say you're not watching a live stream, but you're watching a video on demand. If you look at the description of any on-demand video on my channel, there should be a link <clears throat> to my current, uh, you know, PayPal. And if you tip me there and you leave a message, I always shout that out on the next stream. The only exception is if maybe... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> the only exception is if there's a situation... He got scared by his own pop-up? Maybe message that's only between us or... Oh, you know, yeah. You say, hey, this is a contribution, uh, so but we're, I don't want... We're literally to just hiding the amount of tips that. that he gets. That's great. FYI. Um, so that that's to... I mean, basically not really saying much that we don't know yet, but there's people sending him money behind the scenes and telling him to not give him a shout out and not talk about it. And and it's obviously an option that you, if you want to do it, you can do it. Um, that's cool. All right. But for the most part, I always count it towards the next stream. Absolutely. That is possible. That's cool. Okay. If you don't want anybody okay, else to know that chip. you send me a money so we can hide the amount of money that I get, that's cool. A two can do that. From Fandango. Why wouldn't we do that? Hope you're having a good day. I want to chime in regarding game length. Considering Spider-Man costs 80 plus euros in my region, I wish the game had an option for more additional content. I get it. As a creator, you value your time. But for a regular gamer like me, I want to get the most out of 80 euros, which means more hours. 30 is way too little. I already have 80 hours in Starfield without touching the story. Again, I feel like different people look for different things in different games. You're Absolutely, there's always going to be someone who's looking for that quantity to sink their okay their, their okay but into. cool but you mocked those people though that's that what you did because you brought them up like they were unreasonable and crazy for asking a lot of money name one for other a lot of content a section about people giving him money while he isn't streaming just one not talking about super thanks uh i ultimately paypal behind the scenes style situation legitimately yeah uh, that's why he's so great, dude. You, you see things with him that he thinks are normal, but nobody else does. And to feel immersed in that universe because of the sheer amount of content that universe offers. You're right. It's this. I don't think there is a universal, this game formula fits everyone. I don't think so. I think that there's different games for different people. Like, for example, Baldur's Gate 3, I've heard, is an insanely good game that so many people have enjoyed or are currently still enjoying because it's so long. But it definitely isn't going to fit everyone's idea of what's a good game because of the combat style, because of the length of the game. You know, there's many different things, factors to be involved. So I don't think there's a universal, oh, this is the best. You know what I'm saying? And I get that. So, but I, I appreciate your input on that. And thank you for the tip as well. Um, Spawn Killer did a $5 super chat, which is what scared the crap out of us. Imagine if someone made a dollar. Out of us. Like Everybody was no. scared by the no, terrible pop-up that, that, that came up. Chat, it was though. a jump scare. Okay. Whoa, I was so terrified. You're free to imagine whatever Crazy. you want to think about. I mean, but not me. I'm not going there. <clears throat> Mr. Game Master says, Sonic fans are eating good. We had Frontiers last year. Now they're superstars. Yeah. Basically, it's whatever you like. If you want 3D, last year was great because Frontiers was pretty a pretty good start of them making a good franchise, I feel, of uh, 3D. And now you've got Superstars coming out this year, which is going to be really good 2D again from the makers of Sonic Mania. So it should be really good. I'm I'm very excited. <clears throat> I've never played an Incredibles video game. No, I have not, Willa. Okay, we got much more left. Now would be a nice time to to just clock out because nobody's asking questions. Yeah, so go Osaka, who says Sonic was never good, and that is factually incorrect. So thank you for the. Ridiculous statement. It was it was good. You cannot deny the goodness of the originals. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife is available on Prime Video for four ninety nine. Says Acid Face. You ready for this? Acid Face. Hey, shout out to Acid ready? Face. <laughs> Open Prime Video. Search. He got he got that Prime like he's Logan Afterlife. Paul. Click on it. Watch with the stars free day trial or buy the movie for thirteen dollars. That's okay. You got a three day trial. What are you crying about? Maybe it's available in your region. It's not available in mine. It's a That's three day trial. Differences. Just sign up, watch the movie, and cancel. What the fuck are you crying about? 
it's stupid that sometimes you can get it sometimes you can't i can't get it in my region i have to buy it or get oh stuff. my god this That's dude it. is such a bitch he is so oh, whiny Somebody else is going to end up Snow buying Carl it for him because he's X. such a bitch. Which probably isn't the real Snow Carl. Says, do you enjoy yeah, hot that's peppers me. Are too spicy? Depends on the kind. I've had many different kinds of hot peppers. Um, and some of them I'd enjoy as... I, I enjoy them more as an ingredient in something rather than as a, a as an actual like raw hot pepper. But I have had hot peppers and things and they can be enjoyable. For me though, here's the thing. I like things that add flavor, not heat. Heat is okay, but like I prefer actual flavor to heat if you're eating something and flavor to heat ratio was off and tingle and, and <laughs> salivate everywhere and you can't stop it and now your eyes are watering up and your sinuses are on so stupid man he's such a subhuman no behavior <laughs> how can you enjoy what you're eating i don't get that some people apparently like that right jade welcome back says i'm here but my allergies are bothering me i'm sorry to hear that hope you feel better um if you're around today, great. If not, if you you know pass out because you're on medication or whatever, it's all good. I hear you because my allergies can get really bad too. I've been lucky. Recently, my allergies have not been so bad, probably because of the change of weather. Of course, now it's going to get hot this weekend, so here it comes back again, I'm sure. Uh, but feel better. Good to see you. Mark says, there's too many games coming out this month. Is this one of the best years for game releases? Yes. Yes, there's too many games coming out this month, and yes, this is one of the best years for game releases. I think at the end of this year, when I actually do my countdown for best games of the year, I will probably have a tough time. And and by surprise, like for example, Lies of P, I never expected that game was going to be good. Honestly. And I'm playing it, I'm like, dude, this is one of the best games I've played in a long time. I, I really like it. <clears throat> so, we're going to see. It's going to be a tough one, I think. I think these games coming out are going to be great. Anything else? Lady Charisma says, The current state of streaming is why so many people are pirating content again. It's sometimes less of a headache. It's always Someone less of a headache. Get, Literally a always. On Amazon Video, where they live, I can't. You know what? This is If you know where to find to stuff, it's never a headache. Right? You see how all these YouTubers have these paid uh, pro uh, promotions? Oh my god, the there's... He, he's so fucking obsessed with people getting sponsorships. Dude let it go let it the fuck go always bringing them up always bringing them up they live in rent free ties like a fucking nord vpn and shit oh like that's because they pirating stuff they're breaking the law that's why because you get that vpn and then you can change your region and then you can uh you can get access to all the stuff that you're not supposed to have access to where you live you know, a lot of people are doing that, too. No, actually, you, you got access to them from a lot of places. It's just illegal. So they can actually find you and uh, make a frowny face in person and then put you in jail. So stop torrenting porn, Swan fucking Kulis idiots. Says, you have a deli near you like New York Deli. Sadly, delis are not a big thing out here in Washington from what I've seen. There's a few, and they're like Asian, like an Asian deli. You know, like a Vietnamese, you get a banh mi sandwich, but... There are no unique, like, like, no me. uniquely American delis the out here. Ban me like, sandwich. No yeah. We, I think the Not entire good. time I've lived here, I've seen one legit, independently owned diner, and some of them were chains, and the chains have closed. There was actually some chain diners, and they went out of business. So, yeah, pretty sad. Uh, I have a two dollar tip. Okay, nice. From so? Big Larry Gaming. Big Larry Gaming. I was wondering who you thought is an easy character to start with. I'm trying Chun-Li. I'm having no luck. Uh, pick a Shoto. Pick Ryu, right? A starter character like Ryu is always easy. Or maybe Guile. Someone who has basic zoning. And easy Guile execute, with the style. I would recommend. Guiling and styling yeah. and profiling. For sure. And then once you learn the basics, then you can go to the more advanced characters. Chun-Li is a hybrid character. She's more advanced, for sure. Well, Juan, 30 days to your birthday. I, you must be excited if you keep mentioning it every day. <laughs> oh, wow. Why are you so butthurt about this? What is, what is this passive-aggressive no, comment? Not easy execution. Oh, wow, yeah. Really? You, should, you, should, you, should, you should stop. You should one stop. One is back-forward punch. One is down-up kick. They're the easiest execution. Okay, yeah, yeah stop. Hey, but chat, why is nobody saying emotion. anything? Why are people being quiet in chat? <laughs> He's very easy. Oh, it's your birthday in 30 days? Yeah, you should st stop talking about it. But when my birthday comes around, I plan it three months in advance, and I have an entire birthday week. 
Yeah, well, that I've only had you guys one love on it. me ever. Because that's my stream. And it was weird because it was tuna I can do it if I want to. And when I ate it on stream, it was like two years ago. People were like, "You really chose the wrong bon mi. You should have chosen a different bon mi sandwich." I think I should choose a, a, a different it, stream. Oh, we got just like two more minutes. Oh, I got a dollar fifty tip from Beaver Bother. Since you're getting a top range gaming PC to compete in master rank, what can we spend more Blanca? Well, I'm not getting a top range gaming PC. I never said I was. I don't. I can't afford that. Don't have the money for it right now. Um, it's not happening. Thanks, though. <laughs> a cold cut style bon me. Says Kev. That's Kev who asked me about the bon me. A I don't know style? why right. he keeps saying there are no diners and delis near him because I Google Renton and find at least five of each. Um, he... He never Googles anything. He's like one of those boomers that just... They would rather ask you questions for you to, to Google it for them and to explain it for them than actually Google it themselves. Even though Google is the most basic form of looking for stuff that physically exists. All right, I'll have to look into that. I know they do pork too. Like he doesn't pork. look up anything. And when he does, he's really like smug about it. He's like, oh, I, I looked it up, you guys. I did some guys, research. We have to wrap up the show. It's going late. Thank you for watching. Great yeah. podcast today. Please start to suggest things in that suggestion box. The more suggestions we get, the better the channel will be. So please, let me know your thoughts. To more gaming content. And now he's going to give you the, Resident Evil the jump scare. Excited for more Star Don't get scared, you guys. Tomorrow, I'll be Don't here get scared. To tell you all about it and how it went. Uh, but in the meantime, happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, he did it. He got you. You got busted. You got filled. You got filled. He gave you the whole fill. Okay. Very fucking funny. And now we got music. So uh, my job here is done. Uh, my planet needs me. And meanwhile, I'm going to play this. And then you're going to get forwarded to... Um, I don't know. I think it's Raw Phil. But if it's not, then just, just go there. Like what? You, you can't go there? You can't go there? What's wrong with you? You can't just go to a, another YouTube page? Let's check up the, the stocks right now. Let's see the stonks. Steve Coin is back on the rise. People are loving Steve Coin right now, and I, I do too. That's why I own almost 260 of them. And uh, what else we got? We got Health Coin is hype up. Divorce Coin has always taken a massive loss. Massive. And uh, everything is positive. Make sure to buy the Steve Coin, everybody. See you around. Clip this one, bitches. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. You are fucked. And you are done. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. I'm coming for you. Sound good? Coming for you. There it is. Coming for you. Alright. Please talk about boys. So I'm looking. Please talk about punk ass bitches. I'm looking. 30, 40, 50, sissified boys come from the bottom. 30, 40, 50, ass busters. Ain't no clap back videos. Why? What is it that serious? But I need boys. Please, the creator. Bless me, but I need boys. Please allow my boy sperms to go fast. And shoot fast enough. Go fast enough. Please, please, the creator. Please bless me. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. Blood shit and bullets. You are fucked. And you are dumb. I'm coming for you. They all so dumb. 30, 40, 50 punk ass bitches. I'm the one. Coming for you. You are fucked. And you are dumb. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. 40, 50, punk ass bitches. There may be some gunfire. 30, 40, 50, sissified boys. 